Looks like we got a new friend! Welcome to this, the third episode of Cartoon Karting, where we do wacky things uh, in racing uh, style stuff. Hi! Uh, before we go around and say hello to all these wonderful faces around our table, please take a moment to check out all of our links. Uh, we have Streamlabs merch, which is reasonably new. I need to update these commands. It's not that new anymore. It is still new, I guess, but it's not that new. Um, also, we have social links, places you can go to support us. Information about our sponsors, Mage Hand Press. Oh, hi, Mage Hand Press. Uh, and Bird in the Storm Publishing, uh, whom we're very grateful to because they make this all possible. Also, there are websites. You get 10 to 15% discount codes, which also needs updating because there are more than that now. Uh, and... Uh, uh, lastly, uh, retweets. Retweets really do re uh, support the stream, uh, so thank you if you take the time to go and do it. Um, let's go round and say hello to folk. Um, oh, before we do, the other thing is the GoFundMe. Uh, the GoFundMe, we got a anonymous donator donate £500. It's not on the GoFundMe, 
but that means we're only a hundred pounds away from our goal. So the new goal is like 500, but like, I don't know how to bring, if I can bring the goal back. I don't, support us. Thank you. Uh, let's go around <laughs> and say hello to everyone. Let's go. Do, 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 do. I can never remember which way around I go. Let's, let's start with Kylie. Oh, hi, Kylie. Hey, um, I'm Kylie or Kai, and I am at Stonefly Kai on Twitter. And today I am playing Princess Posh, who, um, is like a futuristic princess human um she drives a futuristic looking pumpkin fantastic thank you uh, and correction in the last 30 minutes my fundraiser has updated so that we're now only 60 pounds away from being funded uh thank Yay, you that's very, awesome. very very much everyone uh let's go next we'll go around the screen and go next to julie oh hi soft signal well, hello. Um, I am Julie at Soft Signal on Twitter. Um, I will be playing Aubrey Fritz tonight, and Aubrey Fritz um, is something of a show off, a fly girl, if you will. Um, and we'll see how that goes tonight. <laughs> It'll be wonderful. We'll, we'll discuss the rules briefly as we go through, but honestly, all you need to do is click the sheet. It's dead easy. Yeah. Lastly, around, but most certainly not leastly around. Oh, hi, Justin. Oh, hi. Uh, so I'm Mitch in press, Twitter Vecna in chat, and um, I'm playing Manny Tuco, who is a swift road warrior who rides the lightning. Oh, boy. And, uh, you know, I, I take some inspiration from, uh, you know, inspirational people like uh, the races of Greased Lightning and, uh, you know, Elvis, uh, James Dean. This is going to be hilarious. Where are we going this week to race? We started in the first week at an airport, then we went off to a graveyard shift style uh, place. Th today, uh, we're going to start on a uh, desert planet with a great big ramp and everyone's in some sort of flying machine. Um, so uh, everyone, please, can we describe our carts uh, as they, of course, have space functionality this week? Um, why don't we go around in the same order? Kylie, what does your cart look like? So clearly I got ahead of myself, but it's a uh, steel kind of chrome looking pumpkin. And it has like neon lights, like where, you know, all the pumpkin designs are. Um, and then underneath it kind of where it's hovering, it's like neon colors, blues, I imagine. Sounds amazing. Sounds amazing. Yeah, I'm just kink the mic over sounds amazing uh next let's go to kylie what does your how how what have you bought to combat the uh pumpkin spacecraft thing you said me again did i i meant to say julie yes. <laughs> both end in e yeah uh aubrey is flying only the best of the best of course a sleek black spaceship with blue plasma coming out of the bottom and um, there is a window dome where she is seated. <clears throat> okay. And uh, Manny Tuco. What's Manny Tuco rocked up in? Well, uh, I'm in a 1948 Ford Deluxe convertible. And, uh, you know, I've got strapped to it in the front a, uh, you know, retro rocket that's going to be pulling me along so I can keep up with these jokers. Fantastic. Uh, looking down the boards, uh, we can't see some of our normal people today. Uh, the uh, the creepy, it would seem that losing in their hometown has made the creepy crawler, having lost their dragon and lost the championship at their hometown, it seems they have quit the race for now. Maybe they will return. Um, we do have some other people around, though. We have uh, the Chuggabug is still around. Um, they have got essentially what looks like a large furnace that they are driving in. Um, the Beer Brothers, unfortunately, won't be competing today. They do not have space functionality in their cardboard cutout car. Um, so they, they won't be coming along. Uh, Femme Fatale Fiona, she has come along. Uh, the hardest person to say, I've kept her in. Um, she, uh, is, uh, flying a large rocket, which is, uh, distinctly, uh, baguette-shaped. Um, and, uh, let's see, who else have we got? We also have a, um, Gareth, Gareth Ball around. Uh, Gareth Ball is a red-skinned alien uh, driving a black, uh, a black, um, what is it? It's, it's going to be a, it's, it's a black, like, spherical-shaped uh, 
thing pulled by two large rocket boosters, uh, which are sort of held together by lightning somehow. Um, and uh, also there is a uh, person in a large cross-shaped uh, chariot. Um, he's the uh, hometown winner. His name is Radunda. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. Okay. Uh, well, let's uh, get this show on the road, shall we? Um, so, how do we start these things? Uh, as always, um, we start with a um, a session before the session. So, before the race starts, is there anything that any of you would like to do? Uh, you know, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to approach uh, the princess. So, uh, princess. Manny. You know, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good, Manny. Oh, you know, that's, that's good to hear. Is, is your pumpkin, uh, you know, ready for this uh, little space adventure? I don't know. Um, it, it's, it's, I think we're ready to go. Oh, Darling, you, know, you could uh, make sure everything's ready to go for me. Uh, you know, I was hoping maybe I could, you know, get a co-pilot over here in the, uh, the Grease Lightning over here. Um, I think you're better off asking somebody else, Darling. Ah, uh, you know, gotta, gotta always try. <laughs> see you at the finish line behind me. Uh, we'll see. And I'll walk off, continue to do my hair. <laughs> any more for any more would uh princess posh or aubrey like to do anything princess posh is going to clean off her crystal shoes and you know kind of make sure she's kind of wearing a black dress very very futuristic black dress but she's going to make sure there's no wrinkles in it or anything and kind of fix her hair uh, Aubrey is going to take the time to make sure that everything is as shiny as it can be, of course. <laughs> you only get one impression on the racetrack. Uh, you... Aubrey, darling, how long have you been racing? <laughs> oh, you know, five or six years. Oh, so you know what you're doing on this track then? I, I always know what I'm doing. Oh. I'll see you at the finish line as well, behind right. me. <laughs> we'll see about that. Uh, let's see. Who would like to be close to the Chuggabug? Remind me, what does the Chuggabug look like? Oh, the Chuggabug, it's uh, driven by yokels. Uh, yokels? <laughs> they, uh, they have a bear who drives and uh, two brothers who load the furnace. Not being in the regular Chuggabug this week with wheels and being in the uh, floating furnace, uh, they've also brought in uh, one of their uh, friends who is a, uh, a, a redneck rocket scientist uh, from Louisiana. <laughs> that is delightful. I'll be near the Chuggabug if nobody else wants to be. <laughs> It's too dirty to be near my vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you'll see this um, this uh, straw hat wearing, pipe smoking, uh, slightly overweight Louisiana uh, guy checking over the engines. Uh, <laughs> sort of like looking across at you like, Yeah, hey, big demonda, wouldn't it? <laughs> you, you too. <laughs> Good luck, don't I have? Huh? Good luck! Good luck? On the raid, good luck, huh? Ah, yes. Good luck to you as well. Just kind of idly wiping dirt off the side of my <laughs> racer. <laughs> um, <laughs> he totters back around his thing, making adjustments. <laughs> um, the two brothers are just uh, chopping wood. Um... Mm. You're going to need to burn a lot of wood to make a furnace fly, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> They're chopping. You know, <laughs> They're chopping away. Um, what else have we got? Um, near Manny, um, were there any, any competitors? Maybe a Gareth, Gareth Ball could be near you. Okay. 
Uh, he's uh, looking over his sphere. Uh, hey, uh, it's a pretty round ball over there. You, uh, you, you speak any words? You just make. All right, you do you. It would seem he speaks an alien language. <laughs> um, we also have um. Uh, who else we have? Fenfatafiona. They've got to be near Princess Posh. Uh, they're looking over your um your your pumpkin. I'm looking in my mirror, like my magic mirror, and I'm like, you know, making it look like so I'm putting on my lipstick, but I'm checking out the competition in it. And you'll just see like Femme Fatale Fiona like looking at you behind you. I also tilt it down and look at her shoes. The mirror. Uh, yep. Uh, black uh, half calf uh, not leather, but like uh, they look like Faux satin with a high heel. Darling, there seems to be a cuff or a scuff on your shoe. Well, good luck today. <laughs> good luck, you need it. She's very British. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's better. Good luck today. Maria. You're going to need that look for yourself, darling. How close did you keep an eye on her? Pretty closely, I would think. No, I wouldn't. She, you know what? I don't feel like she's a threat. So I'm just going to check her out and then go back to my own world. Fantastic. Uh <laughs> Uh, there's only one person left to take to the uh, course, and uh, they uh, cart. They've got a, a, a bunch of robots carting out their, um, carting out this cross-shaped uh, racer, this uh, floating um, chariot. Uh, and as soon as uh, as soon as this um, this uh, alien takes to the field, uh, everyone in the crowd shouts Redonda! and um, Redunda sort of like waves at them. If I've been racing for a few years, would I know who Redunda is? Uh, <laughs> or is <it> if you're <laughs> familiar with the space racing scene, you would definitely know who Redunda is. A ridiculous amount of wins, and you know that uh, they don't like to fight clean. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. I'm gonna keep an eye on Redunda. <laughs> Redunda is just redundant, if you ask me. You know, doesn't have anything on these 30-inch uh, fins on this uh, gorgeous car right here. This uh, Redunda. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back to my pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I think on on my way by back to my own car, I think um, I look at Manny's car. Mm -hmm. Nice ride. Keep walking. Hey, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of clicks and pointing going on. <laughs> That's how we communicate, just 100%. Hey. Now, hey. normally, I would ask you all if you want to walk the track. Uh, mm -hmm. But you can't really walk the track. You can only walk a bit of it. Uh, so instead, you can go to a view screen, maybe, and see where the uh, track leads. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to walk over to the view screen. And I'm going to assume there's a, a retro-looking uh, jukebox next to this view screen uh, sure. that isn't playing anything. And uh, as it goes through the playthrough of the track, I'm going to hit the jukebox, and it's going to start playing some music. I'm going to have two very small, like, alien-type, I don't know, animal 
servant things roll out a red carpet for me to walk on as I walk to the viewing screen. He'll saunter up next to Princess Posh and watch. <laughs> I'm gonna take a risk. Because I didn't prepare this song. The jukebox starts playing. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, the uh, view screen takes you along the desert. You have to slalom your way through the uh, desert canyons. Uh, there's several routes you can take until you get to a big ramp. Uh, the big ramp uh, moves to vertical, uh, which is uh, essentially a launch pad to get you into space. Uh, getting out of the atmosphere is easy enough. Uh, you need to slingslot, slingshot around a moon through an asteroid field around uh, a neighboring planet and then race back down to the desert to complete uh, a, uh, a long stretch on a nice safe uh, section of road with absolutely nothing happening there. Looks like we got a nerf I don't up. believe that at all. Well, it's par for the course, you know. <laughs> Swinging wide around a planet. <laughs> Thank you very much, Scorch Dice, uh, for the raid. Welcome, raiders. <laughs> I'm not feeling that. Let's go for something a bit. The, the music suddenly changes magically. I hit it again. <laughs> That's more like it. So uh, they ask you to take to your cars. I'm going to go back to my car. And as I do, my little butlers are going to roll up the red carpet behind me. <laughs> An unhurried pace, back to my car, cool, chill, everything's fine. Well in hand. <laughs> uh, Princess Posh, as you as you roll out this carpet, you do in fact uh, see our currently unnamed friend uh, standing uh, just in front of the uh, robots of rolling out the carpet, and he's sort of, hey, nice red carpet. I don't speak to peasants. And uh, he just spits on the carpet and walks away like it was tobacco <laughs> or something. <laughs> Ooh, that's exactly why I don't speak to peasants. I'm going to continue on. So, each of you have special powers and things, and we'll look at what they do as we go, and we'll probably modify them heavily because why not? It's a one shot. We'll make them overpowered and fun. Um, however, the generic uh, rules of racing are as such. We make an initiative roll to see uh, where we start, what our initial um, our initial order is. Then if you want to uh, overtake someone, you need to make a successful speed roll. Uh, if you want to create distance between yourself and someone behind you, you need to complete a successful speed roll. If you want to close distance between you and someone in front of you, you need a successful speed roll. Unless you would like to do it some other way. For example, if you would like to chuck something at someone to stall their car so that you can overtake easier, that might be a um, intellect or might roll, depending on what we're doing. Uh, Cypher system is a very open system. Anything you can think to happen, we will make it happen. Um, and special abilities and stuff we'll do on a case-for-case -case basis and we'll go through everything as such. So, as we get down to the, to the starting line and the lights come up, red... Amber, green. Can everyone please roll me an initiative roll? You can spend effort to make uh, make things easier. If you do so, mm -hmm. it will tell you how much that costs, and you will need to reduce uh, your uh, pool by that amount. Initiative is zero difficulty, right? Yes. Okay. Oh baby, oh wow. baby. Wow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is a total opposite from last week for me. <laughs> this is also the only time that I really rolled dice uh, this week, which is... Oh! Uh, 
uh, Chugabug, Garful. Uh, I'm trained in initiative, by the way, so I, I don't know how you want to calculate that for the roll. We just add free to it. Uh, okay. Welcome, so Gratuitous RP! Uh, thank you for the raid! Welcome! Um, Hi. Let's see, who have we got? I've got, um, I've got the Chugabug, I've got Gareth Ball, I've got Femfatal Fiona, and Redunda. That's everyone, pretty. Um, <laughs> so, uh, the, it seems that the Chugabug and Redunda are at the, are at the back of the line. <laughs> Uh, it would seem also that uh, the uh, Femfatal Fiona is somewhere near the back. Uh, then we have uh, Justin with a 15. We have, uh, sorry, Manny, rather. Mm -hmm. uh, followed by uh, Princess Posh. Uh, and uh, we have neck and neck first place, uh, Aubrey and uh and gareth ball uh I, I do think princess posh is ahead of me uh because she got a 19. Mm -hmm. yeah didn't i say that that's what i wrote oh okay oh you, you wrote it uh, oh you were reading it back from last to first place so i, I my brain just got mixed up yes uh that's fine uh so mm -hmm. uh hang on let's put that track back on because that was definitely a bother. um <laughs> You have a major effect uh, in um, in Cypher System. Uh, you might have had an example from your focus. It might say on your character sheet somewhere, major effect suggestion. Uh, an additional attack with my weapon, but I'm not attacking here. Mm. Um, so perhaps as I am tearing away from the starting line, I kick up a bunch of dust behind me. Um, that may affect whoever is pulling up just behind. I love that, yeah. So for we'll make the major effect last for the rest of the session. Uh, anytime that you are in sand, there is sand being kicked up behind you, uh, making tasks more difficult for the person behind. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, Gareth Ball... Uh, Gareth Ball's major effect is that they are going to... Um, they're going to have a light sword. <laughs> uh, a, a hard light sword that they can uh, use uh, it just sort of comes into their hand they've got a lot of magnets around them as well uh, so we'll go around in order let's start with Aubrey Aubrey what would you like to do on your turn uh, I would like to put some space between me and Gareth Ball if possible Sure thing. Let's have a speed roll. Uh, Gareth Ball will be a difficulty four racer. Difficulty four. Um. Oh, I nineteen. And nineteen beats difficulty five. Um, mm -hmm. you soar ahead, uh, and you are um in the lead of the race. Alright. Uh, Gareth Ball. Uh, Gareth Ball would like to slow you down. Mm. Uh, he throws his hard light sword at you. <laughs> okay. Can you please make me a um, uh, make me a difficulty four speed defense task, or unless you'd like to defend some other way. Hmm. I think so. Uh, would I be doing a, just a speed roll with a difficulty of four, or? Yes, indeed. Okay, cool. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is try to dodge it. So I think speed defense makes the most sense in this case. Six, just barely. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, ah yes, oh, I didn't four. explain. Uh, mm. This is a fairly new API for Roll20, as in they bought it out at the beginning of the season and we had to change all of our character sheets to match it. It's mm. also broken. Oh it says success all the time. Okay. So the difficulty was four. Unfortunately, a roll of six only beats difficulty two. Uh, so uh. Uh, the hard light sword is going to uh, catch you. Um, uh, 
as as you are trying to nip out of the way uh maybe it affects part of your vehicle is there is there a spot that you think uh, it could it could hit um maybe there's like a wing that sticks out the side that it shears off a part of Ooh, yeah uh, yeah a little bit of smoke starts going up behind me but it doesn't slow me down or maybe well, it does a little bit but yeah <laughs> It's uh, it's not trying to slow you down or anything. It literally just does uh, four might damage to you. Uh, please reduce your might pool by four. Uh, what is the significance of the pools? You can use your pools to make things easier. When you use effort, it tells you the cost. Um, mm -hmm. But they also make up your health. If you lose one pool, you become impaired and all things become more difficult. If you lose two pools, then you slow to speed zero. Uh, mm -hmm. And... Um, and uh, you you cannot move uh, and if you lose all three pools uh, your vehicle is destroyed and you have to repair it and you go back into last place and then you may continue from there uh, so that's the significance of the pools in this context so as long as all of my pools are at like i'm good right now <laughs> yeah oh yeah you're fine you, what four yeah. points that's nothing don't even worry <laughs> about it um next so now uh but you have sped ahead. So next we have Princess Posh. Um, I want to use my action to speed ahead. And as I do, I kind of want um, a, like a hologram, actually nothing true, but a hologram of horses like rearing in front of me, like the typical horses with the pumpkin um, that kind of push me forward or pull me forward, I guess. Okay, and it's Gareth Ball ahead of you. Uh, you're just going to try and overtake? That You can. There's yep. no space between you at the minute. That's what I'm going to do. A difficulty four. I'm not going to do any effort for now. Uh, you're not going to do anything <laughs> epic for now, did you say? <laughs> <laughs> any what? Did you, what did you say just then? What was your last nope. word? No effort for now. Oh, effort. I thought you said I'm not going to do anything epic right now. And then they like, just rolled a 20. Gonna... And then we're really yeah. casual about it as well. Like, yeah, this is fine. Like, uh, Yeah, it's fine. What's your major um, effect suggestion? What have you got? My major effect, I want to... I want the horses to, like, break off of their harness and, like maybe go in front of him and scare him even though he doesn't know that you know they're just pigments or holograms or whatever okay okay so um i think we will make that a your major effect is that these horses uh will be uh constantly around you and um they will reduce the difficulty of the person in front of you by one level um for all the time that you are on the ground they'll reduce i'm sorry what you cut out a little uh, they'll reduce the difficulty of the person in front of you. Reduce their difficulty level by one. Okay, cool. Uh, so, you also move up. Uh, next, we have Manny. Manny Tuco. You can uh, see um, you see Princess Posh speed around Gareth Ball. Gareth Ball uh, seems phased for just a moment. Okay. Um, so, so Gareth is ahead of me, or... Uh... Posh. Uh, you've seen Posh speed ahead, so now it's Gareth. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put on. Uh, I'm gonna do one last uh, combing before I put on my my space helmet that covers my pompadour, make sure that I'm uh, safe in space and my hairstyle is protected. Um, after that, I'm going to just you know go full force, trying to speed ahead as quick as I can. Sure thing. You just want to try and overtake Gareth as well? Uh, yeah. Fantastic. Give us a speed roll. Unless you're doing something different. Um, you know, I have proficiency in in uh, running uh, thanks to Swift. Would, would that count as, uh, as what I'm doing is overtaking? Would that be a running? We'll say, uh, yeah. Things that involve moving fast rather than running, yeah. Yeah, we'll mm -hmm. say that your car is proficient in running. So, uh, when your car's running, it's proficient. Alrighty, so, uh, difficulty four? Uh, it was difficulty four, yes. And, uh, that, a nine will beat it because of your train, training. Uh, so, uh, it's, n it's not as e you don't make it look quite as easy as Princess Posh, who just storms around. Um, and, um... You, but you do get ahead of them, and they're they're starting to look slightly disgruntled. 
funnily enough. Uh, so, so as I pass them, you know, I, I look and out of habit, I got my comb in my hand and it clinks against the glass and they're like, eh. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Uh, so they're falling all the way back. Next is Femme Fatale Fiona. Uh, Femme Fatale Fiona, she's uh, been learning a lot these last few weeks. Uh, and uh, she uh, is uh, taking her time at the back here. She sees Gareth Ball falling down the lines and she thinks, well, I could do something with Gareth Ball or I can secure my position here for the moment. Uh, so uh, she uh, fires the jet on her baguette. Uh, it doesn't do anything this round. Uh, but uh, it will give her a plus one to any speed checks next turn round. Uh, next, we have... Uh, we have... Oh, the chugger bug. Uh, the chugger bug, uh, you can see uh, puffing away at the front is this pioneer Louisiana guy with the bear going... And the bear just sitting there like... Uh, and they're going to try and overtake um, Femme Fatale Fiona. Which they do. They uh, they uh, speed around Femme Fatale Fiona and uh, she is fuming. I don't think she's won a race this whole... I don't think she's even come like above second to last this whole time. And we're playing with the Beer Brothers most of the time. Uh, lastly is Redonda. Uh, Redonda... Uh, throws a spanner at Femme Fatale Fiona. Uh, but it clanks off the metalwork and uh, doesn't do any harm. Uh, we go back to the top of the line. You are entering the uh, the uh, caverns of the desert. Uh, the ravines and caverns. Uh, so, uh, first of all, we have Aubrey up front. You can see, uh, you can see Princess Posh behind you. Hmm. All right, remind me what I can attempt to do. I can try to slow Fiona, po Princess Posh down, right? Uh, you can, yeah, or you can try and create distance. It's up to you. Mm. I think I'm going to, <clears throat> and there's no, this is Rocky Cavern. There's no sand or anything to kick up behind me or anything like that. <clears throat> So, um, was that thunder? <laughs> oh yeah, that was a uh, that's a uh, it's raining and thundering outside. Wow, okay. that was impressive. It's um, uh, it's perfect for me riding the lightning. All right, so uh, I seem to be doing pretty well here, but uh, Princess Posh is definitely coming up behind me, so I think I'm going to do my best to slow her down. Um, and I think I try to use uh, the caverns. Hmm. So are the caverns pretty twisty and turny, would you say? Oh yeah, red big rocks. red rocks rise out of this uh, desert sand. Uh, you can see wind blowing across the tundra. Uh, they're very tall with overhangs and all sorts. Um, so I think I'm going to bank hard into a spot of sand that I see. And because of how I started this off, um, I will hopefully spray some sand up into Princess Posh's face just behind me and slow her down. <laughs> so that would be a speed roll. Yeah, we can make that speed attack. Sure. Uh, and Princess, uh, why don't you set, we'll get you to set the bar and then uh, Princess Posh will have to try and def defend against the, uh, the the level you set. Uh, set the bar. Oh, that's right. Yes. Um, four seems pretty average here, I think. Three. She's just dodging the sand. <laughs> oh, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, you roll your speed check and that will set the bar. Oh, okay. All right. And is there a difficulty I should... Take into account here. Do it difficulty zero. This will be you'll be setting the difficulty for uh, for oh. Bailey. So uh, difficulty two with your major effect that would be difficulty three. Uh, so mm. Princess Posh, you have to be a difficulty three speed defense or have that uh, that plus one speed from your stallions uh, negated by a minus one speed from Aubrey Fritz. Okay. So. Mm. 
narrow success. You just avoid the sand. Maybe some of it gets on your pumpkin, but it doesn't do any harm or slow you down. Wow. Darling, you can't stop cleaning. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kentucky Hawkeye, who gives each of you a critical coin flip. What this is, a nat 1 or a nat 20. You flip a coin, then it's one of those two. Oh boy. Ooh. And we, do we just use that whenever we want to? Whenever you just need to make a roll, you can do that instead. Okay. okay. Alright, um... And then I'll just keep peeling on ahead and laugh over my shoulder at her. <laughs> well, next we come to uh, Princess Posh. You see this attack, uh, Princess. How do you respond? I am going to try to... Um, can I just try to cause damage to her vehicle? <laughs> yeah, of course you can. Like, How are you going to do it? Do. Uh, I want to cast Arcane Flare, which means I enhance the damage of an attack um, by one additional point of damage. <laughs> An enabler but, or an action? Um, it's it's under cast spells. It doesn't say enabler or action. Hmm. Okay. Oh, enabler for enhancement is what it does say. Sorry. Okay, so if since it's an I enabler, long range attack that is always active. So when you make a thing, that that will just happen. Oh, so I'm going to cast a spell on her, and it's going to be like it'll look like. Um, it'll look like a skull and crossbones, and I'm going to try to, um, I don't know what I'm trying to do. What does your vehicle look like again? Uh, it's just the shiniest black space racer you've ever seen. <laughs> I want to make it matte black and get in her head. <laughs> okay. So I think they're going for intellect damage here, right? Um, so your spell, I think that'll be an intellect attack. Okay. And just difficulty zero and she goes back at it? Yeah. Okay. That's sort of like slightly homebrew PvP. You don't see a lot of PvP in Cypher System, but we're here Sorry. racing against each other, so this is fine. Uh, <laughs> so a difficulty free uh, intellect defense, please, Aubrey. As you see your car starting to turn from shiny black to matte black. No! <laughs> you, okay. su you succeed! Hey, it's cool! <laughs> That's alright. It's fine. I can use this. <laughs> Nobody can outshine a queen. Thanks for the upgrade! <laughs> Uh, after uh, after the princess, it's Manny. All right. So uh, seeing seeing the princess getting a little aggressive uh, with with Aubrey, uh, I'm gonna stand up, uh, foot on the wheel of my car, holding a giant bat wrapped in uh, wires and metal, uh, electricity running through it. And I'm gonna take a swing at a pumpkin, and this is gonna be a pumpkin bash. <laughs> it sounds simply monstrous. Let's do it. Uh, might, might attack, please. Unless you'd prefer right. speed attack, speed or might. Uh, we'll do, we'll do might this time round. <whistles> Princess Posh, please defend a difficulty five, uh, with an electri electrified bat. Uh, you can use might to take the brunt of it and be okay, or speed to dodge. I'm gonna do might, and I'm going to put two effort into it. Okay. Ooh. So yeah, with difficulty four, that will uh, be a success, but please reduce your might pool by five points. No. Um. Oh, okay. Still getting used to reading the, these character sheet rolls. Yeah, it's a... Uh, <laughs> it's a whole thing. <laughs> now, honestly, mm -hmm. the old API I really liked. It's a shame <laughs> we can't get hold of that. Um, yeah. So, uh, after after uh, Manny, um, 
who has caused damage to Princess Posh's might pull one way or another uh, by forcing effort. Uh, we come next to uh, uh, Gareth Ball. Gareth Ball is going to try and overtake you, Manny. Can you please make a speed defense check? All right. Well, I am actually trained in these. Um, so Difficulty I'll four. Make... All right. Difficulty four. Submit. I'm not going to put any effort into it. And uh, looks like I beat it. Yep, difficulty three with the extra training makes it difficulty four, and uh, Gareth Ball cannot get around you. Um, after Gareth Ball, we have the Chuggerbug Brothers. Uh, the Chuggerbug Brothers, they um, uh, they, they start throwing logs at, um, at Gareth Ball. Uh, and uh, they clog his engine, and uh, Gareth Ball drops a place. I don't know how, honestly. Uh, Femme Fatale Fiona, uh, next in line. Femme Fatale Fiona, she is just going to, now using her extra plus one speed, try and overtake Gareth Ball as well. Gareth Ball is not having a good race. After Gareth, we have Redunda. Redunda just straight up tries to overtake, but cannot. Redunda not having a good race either. Uh, so, uh, and we come back around. We are now halfway through the ravines. Um, and Aubrey, we're back around to you. Okay. <clears throat> um, I think I am going to... Um... I think I'm just going to try to tear ahead. <laughs> just try and create some space, yeah. And just a speed. Oh. Is that what I was supposed to roll? Yes, indeed. Uh, so speed beats difficulty four. Uh, that's the uh, difficulty set, uh, Princess Posh. Uh, please give us a speed defense. Uh, unfortunately, beating difficulty two, uh, you see distance open up between you and uh, Aubrey. Okay. Princess, it's your turn. I'm going to try to gain <laughs> up and catch up with her again. Mm -hmm. Please beat a bit difficulty Ooh. two speed roll, Aubrey. Ooh. Okay. It's very low. That is very low. You never know. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> what are the odds? Uh, and so, are, are you just speeding up to them, Princess? Um, yeah, because that's all I can do, right? Yeah. Uh, so then, in that case, uh, Manny, can you also please make a difficulty two speed roll to keep up? Alrighty. Is this a counted as defense or? <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. It either counts as defense or running. You're trained one way or another. Okay. I somehow beat it still. Skin of your teeth. Skin. Uh, so, um... <laughs> yeah, uh, so the three of you, uh, move ahead. Um... You create distance between you and the chugger bug, essentially. Um, so the three of you move together as a pack. Mm. Um, next it is, uh, Manny's turn. Alrighty, so, uh, who's right in front of me right now? Still the princess. Alright, well, uh, princess, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to change that. So I'm gonna do something called control in the field. Um, and, uh, that's just gonna post that in chat right now. Uh, so, this melee attack inflicts one less point of damage than normal. Uh, regardless of whether I hit the target, I get to maneuver to a position I desire within immediate range. Or I get to maneuver you into a position within immediate range. Okay, uh, so let's have that might attack roll, and on a successful attack, indeed, you will uh, get all these things. Uh, well, it actually says regardless. Uh, does it? I mean, we can change that for the purpose of the race. No, 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 hang on, mate. Yeah, no, you're very right. The melee attack inflicts one less point of damage than normal. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, uh, so you're spending one might. Uh, so print, uh, we'll do the attack anyway to see if uh, Princess takes damage. 
I don't think she's going to take damage. <laughs> do I do a might against that? Uh, might or speed to dodge. I think I, I think just giving you the position is a bit of a handout, though. So how about we make it... Um, we'll give you a plus one on a speed, speed roll to see how the positioning works. So do a speed okay. roll as well, and we'll get a speed defense as well from the princess. All righty. And you said with a plus one? Yeah. Um, so I guess we'll just add that later. Yeah. It's yeah. mine. Okay. So difficulty four, a difficulty five speed defense roll, please, Princess Posh. Yeah. So uh, Manny psychs you out, I guess. Freaks you out, and Manny just moves up into second place. I don't really appreciate that from you, Manny. Uh, you could have been my co-pilot. There's more room in my pumpkin. Well, my throne is in here. <laughs> I must be bigger on the inside. The chugabug. The Chuggabug, uh, they're going to start uh, activating some abilities, I think. Uh, they're, uh, you know, they're uh, getting getting ready now. The two brothers start booping out banjos. Getting a beat going, you know, in time with the engine. That resonance really helps things out. They're going to have plus one to all their speed rolls for as long as they're playing. Uh, and uh, you're... Uh, Louisiana boy at the front there starts dancing. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of for the. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, Femme Fatale Fiona. We Femme Fatale Fiona is just going to try and overtake the uh, the uh, the brothers. She cannot. Um, Gareth Ball's going to try and overtake Fiona. He cannot. Redunda's going to try and overtake Gareth. He also cannot, because he doesn't have a minus speed, I don't think. Uh, so, uh, there's a lot of battling going on on this... On this uh, a lot of battling going on. Uh, but not a lot of success so far. Uh, the race seems to be between the three of you as you are creating distance between the pack. However, you see... The big ramp coming up ahead of you. The big ramp towards the stars. Can we please get, um... I need speed... Um... Like speed... Uh, rolls uh, to gain enough speed to get up and launch into space. Um, that will be a difficulty free speed check, please. Okay. I don't quite make it. I'm afraid not. Uh, so, Aubrey, uh, you will lose first place as um, your your can't just can't quite get up this ramp. Uh, in a speedier manner as everyone else and um, what happens is you sort of like get halfway up and then sort of stop and uh, a cloud appears with a fishing rod and uh, picks you up and pulls you into orbit um, however when when the cloud leaves it takes with it two coins of whatever currency it is you're carrying excellent <laughs> uh, this does however put you in third place rather than first Okay. That's all right. <laughs> Time to bounce back. All right. Well, um, I make a big show of it being no big deal, and I keep going. <laughs> Nothing can stop me. Uh, and so we carry on in the race. Um, Manny, it would seem you've taken pole position. 
All right. Uh, so I'm going to try and maintain that position by speeding ahead. Uh, so I'll just make a speed check to try and gain some distance. Yes, indeed. And um, yeah, we'll do that, do that. And I uh, rolled an 18. An 18 is difficulty six. Princess Posh, if you want to keep up, you need to roll an 18 or more uh, to stay stay uh, up to speed with um, with Manny. Is there a critical coin flip? You are muted, and you do have a critical coin flip. Quarter mile, go grease lightning, go grease lightning. Uh, can you take back that roll I just did and do a critical roll flip so I don't have to use my effort? Please, I forgot about it. I will totally accept it. However, okay. you may take damage if you get in that one. That's all right. Uh, I don't have a coin. Uh, Just roll a 1d2. Slash oh, slash roll the... <laughs> uh, slash r d2. Or 2d. 1d2. 1d2. On a 1, it's a fail. There it is. Oh, shoot! Uh, so, on a one, uh, Princess Posh, uh, the reason they're getting ahead is because your, uh, spacecraft wasn't quite airtight as it hit the, uh, hit, hit launch. Um, and so something is going to leave the, uh, leave the cart, uh, dealing three points of might damage to you. What, what is the thing that leaves? Um, can one of my little butlers fall off? <laughs> one of your butlers <laughs> noticing that uh, it's not airtight uh, tries to pull the door closed and gets half sucked out um, and um, we'll say that the uh, the vacuum causes the door to close on them sort of snapping them in half uh, and um, and you, the, unfortunately your electrics fill with uh, fluids also, my might pool is down to zero. All right. Oh, you are impaired, Princess Posh, uh, which means everything becomes one step harder. <laughs> All right. Uh, and is it, am I going now, or is that in my defense? Uh, that was your defense. It is now your turn, but Manny has created distance between you. Um, if I want to try to enthrall him, does he have to be closer? Uh, he has to be able to hear you talk, so yes. Alright, I'll just try to catch up with him then. So I'm gonna do a speed check. It is. Am it, I'm not gonna have a difficulty on it, am I? No, no, am I? You, you're setting the difficulty. Oh, yeah. Difficulty free. Manny, please make a difficulty free speed check. Alrighty. And we can tell so, Justin hasn't been mucking around this time. He's made a character who is proficient in speed. <laughs> <laughs> you mean I'm not playing a turtle anymore? <laughs> so, um, you know, I've just seen there there was some shorting out with, with the butler earlier. So I'm going to try and do a scramble machine as I point the bat at her as she's approaching, and I'm going to try and defend by uh, scrambling the machine. I think, unfortunately, because that's an action, I don't think you'll be able to use it as a defense. Oh, okay, that's fair. I'll just go ahead and do a regular, regular old speed defense then. Um, and you said difficulty three, correct? Difficulty three. Alrighty, so I'll just go ahead and. Oh God, no! <laughs> oh, and you sitting there with no rerolls either. Uh, well, on a nat one GM intrusion, um, <laughs> on a nat one GM intrusion, I think uh, yes. Uh, not only does uh, does Princess Posh uh, close the distance, I think you're going to be neck and neck uh, as your rocket stalls for a second, Manny. Alrighty. Uh, but that does mean there's a bit of distance uh, before Aubrey. You are in orbit. You are going. You can see Princess Posh and Manny speeding away. Yes. <laughs> Is there a pretty... Like, am I just, like, 
middle of the pack, there's a bunch of people far behind me and a bunch of people ahead of me right now. Is that kind of... You're sort of <laughs> equidistant at the minute. There's space in front of you, there's space behind. Depending on how these rolls go, you could rejoin the pack at the front, or you could end up fighting for position in the pack at the back. Okay. Um, but as far as, like, being close enough to talk to anybody, they're a full space away from me. Yeah, I, and I'm afraid, you know, um, in space no one can hear you. So, uh... <laughs> 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 Alright, so uh, I'm going to try to close the distance between me and uh, Manny, would be the closest, right? Or wait, Princess Posh. Uh, they're both, they're equidistant, so... Um... Okay. Alright, so I'm going to try to close ranks with them if I am able to. Um, speed check. Yes, indeed. So, uh, that is difficulty six. Uh, Manny and Princess Posh, can you please both make a speed defense difficulty six? Already. No, not once. Although you do have a critical coin flip if you wish to use it. Because I'm impaired, is it a seven? Yes. <laughs> oh. Mm. I'm, de I'm debating using effort uh, or using that coin flip. Whoa! And... I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna go for the coin flip. We're gonna see what happens. Uh, so two is a success, correct? Two is a success. All right, come on. There yes. it is, and you're trained in speed, so Manny stays ahead. It's a really, really good roll, Kylie. It's really, really good, but a 19 does not beat a difficulty seven. So Aubrey is going to come and muscle her way up uh, right behind you, Princess Prosh, as uh, Manny takes her head into the lead again. Uh, can, can I uh, narrate how I uh, managed to take back the lead? Sure thing. You get a major effect as well. Sweet. Okay, so as, uh, my major effect is described as devices filled with electrical power explode. You can target and destroy an artifact uh, that a foe is holding or wearing. Everyone is driving spacecraft. <laughs> How are we going to do this? So uh, as I uh, my engine kind of stalls out, I'm going to just like take my electric bat and I'm going to just uh, break it in half and the rocket's going to fall away and there's a lightning bolt that is actually chained to the car that's pulling my car along because I ride the lightning, increased lightning. <laughs> of course. And I think because your thing causes everyone, everyone's electrical equipment to explode, I'm going to make it a light weapon attack on everyone around you. So, Aubrey and Princess Posh, please take two damage to your might pool. If your might pool is empty, it will come off your speed pool instead. Okie mm. dokie. Uh, remember, uh, if you want to on your turn, instead of trying to overtake or anything, you can use a recovery roll where you can get 1d6 plus 1 things back as you make some hasty repairs. Uh, Manny, uh, Aubrey, done. Brilliant. So uh, next uh, is the Chuggerbug, and uh, they, have, uh, they, they are using the power of the corn cob uh, to uh, try and overtake everyone. Um, so, uh, they are, uh, they're, they're, they're pushing hard. They're going to try and close that distance between you. Uh, who's at the back? Aubrey, please make a speed defense difficulty, uh, five. All right. Okay. How do I make it specifically defense? Is that something that I'm missing? Uh, it's if it, if you don't have it as a trained skill, I wouldn't worry. You can just do it as a normal speed. Oh right. Uh, difficulty five. Difficulty five. You need to roll a fifteen right. or higher. Oh hey! Nailed it! <laughs> Nailed it! They they can't keep up, even with all of their banjo power. Uh, they're they're so sort of, they're looking at each other. They're starting to get angry while they're playing. You know, they're like, "What are you doing, Luke?" Yogi, you're supposed to be driving this thing proper. Come on, put your foot down. 
and then you know Louis is gonna go shouting back at the uh, yo at the at the, at the at the they're having a big old argument. It's not going well. Uh, next, we have the rest of the races. Fem Fem Fatal Fiona uh, is going to try and move up past the Chuggerbug. Uh, they cannot. Um, Gareth cannot, and Redunda can. Redunda finally moves up the course. See, so he hits space. Uh, he moves ahead of Gareth Ball. Uh, we come back to the front of the pack. Manny, your lightning bolt has pulled you in the lead. Alrighty, so uh, I've already got some distance from some people. Uh, I guess I'm gonna just create some more distance. Because uh, I'm burning up this quarter mile. Yeah, you're approaching the planet now for the slingshot around the planet. All right, let's uh, let's slingshot real good then. Uh, so that's a uh, fifty uh, four to create distance. Uh, yes, indeed, I think. Yep. So difficulty four. So uh, Princess Posh, you are in second place. So please uh, make a difficulty. Four five speed roll as you are impaired uh to try and keep up with uh manny oh man oh <laughs> that's not what i wanted <laughs> <laughs> failure you did fail. Uh, that is very close to a GM intrusion, in fact. Uh, so, Manny, there is now distance between you and the princess. Alrighty. So I'm just going to keep driving on. Next is the princess. How close to me is... Aubrey is in third, right? Aubrey's in third. There is no space between you at the moment. No space in between us. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, it's like try to swerve in front of her and drop a whole bunch of like poisonous apples onto her windshield to try to crack her windshield. I love it. Uh, do you think this will be a speed test or a might test? Speed? If you want, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll take speed. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> of intrusion. <laughs> How can I roll that bad twice in a row? Welcome <laughs> to my world. <laughs> this is such a difficulty. What even happens here? <laughs> GM intrusion. Chat, I'm going to open this up to you. Uh, <laughs> in the time it takes for us to come round, I would like some suggestions on what happens for this GM intrusion <laughs> on Princess's posh car as they try to attack their fellow racer who is racing in good faith. Um, so, um, let me know what your suggestions are. Uh, <laughs> we will do a poll before next round to see what happens. Um, but be quick because these rounds are going pretty fast. Uh, and Princess Posh, while we wait for the results of that, why don't we move along to Aubrey? Aubrey, you see Princess Posh doing something. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, mm -mm. Uh, well, my thought was to uh, try to slow her down by sagging her out with my hella public speaking skills, but um, I'm not sure how that stacks up with us hanging in limbo here. Um, anyway, but yeah, so I think I would try to pull a stride Princess Posh. Um, and, uh, because nobody can hear you in space, um, I think I'm just going to blow a hand kiss and just wink and just be real cute and try to fluster her. <laughs> so I am resistant to charms. Does that, does that count for this? Oh, that, that would, that would, yes. That would make the difficulty one step easier for you as you have resistance. Oh, good. So. Oh. So uh, first, first we'll set the difficulty. Uh, please make me an intellect attack roll as you try to attack them with this ability, uh, and then um, we will set that will set the bar for uh, for Princess Posh to defend. I'm going to go ahead and spend a one whole effort on this. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> 
Well, uh, fortunately, you put some effort into it, so that will make it uh, a difficulty one at least. Um, <laughs> I resisted to zero, right? Yeah. So unfortunately, uh, it's this yeah a difficulty. If it reduces to zero, that does mean it just automatically happens. Princess Posh, can you just roll us a d20 just to make sure you don't have another another uh, GM intrusion? Thank you. Oh, just a d20. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. I I I trust that. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, let's see, um... Darling, you can't charm a charmer. <laughs> Alright, well, some some respect, I think. <laughs> I have started a poll. I've never done it using, um... Using Streamlabs before, but apparently you just put in the number that you want to happen, and we'll see what happens. Uh, oh goodness! Go go go, everyone! Um, fantastic. Uh, so after Aubrey, uh, who is uh, you know your little tete a tete, the, the two of you, uh, we have uh, a bit of space, uh, and then we have um, what do we have? Um, my notes have got very weird at this point. So next is <laughs> is the chugga bug. And the chugger bug are just going to try and uh, try and catch up some distance. So Aubrey, please make another speed defense. Can do. Oh hey! <laughs> to heck with it! That sand <laughs> thing that you had on the desert floor. It's going to carry on up here as well. So you have like a spray of stars coming out from the back of your car, which dazes and confuses people, uh, making it difficult for them to um, making it difficult for them to overtake. Uh, and the chugger bug uh, star power <laughs> or maybe some starping power, some starping power. Not too bad. OK, um, <laughs> uh, after the chugger bug, uh, Fiona is going to try and overtake the chugger bug again. Uh, and she does. Uh, Fiona is now behind you, Aubrey, rather than the chugger bug. Uh, after the chugger bug, we have uh, uh, Redunda trying to overtake the chugger bug also. Uh, and they do too. Uh, the chugger bug is not enjoying space. Uh, Gareth also tries to overtake. Uh, oh, Gareth breaks down. Gareth's, uh, Gareth's lightning couple uh, sort of disappears, and these two things start pulling in either direction. Uh, and uh, Gareth needs to spend a turn trying to pull them back together. Gareth is our new. Uh, beer Brothers, it would seem. That does bring us back around to the top of the round. Uh, so before we look at what's happened to Princess Posh, let's go to Manny. Alrighty then. Uh, so, you know, just seeing what's going on, uh, I'm just going to keep taking off, taking off. Uh, so I'm going to be running. So that's uh, difficulty three. Difficulty to three. try and create more space. Well, um, let's see here as we look at our poll. I don't actually know how to look at the uh, look at the results. Tee -hee. Uh, let's just try stopping it and see what happens. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. There's a lot of four in the chat between you posting the poll and you closing it. There is. Uh, I'm, I, I, I'm, I, you know, I probably shouldn't try and figure out how this works live, but at the same time, <laughs> you might as well do it. <laughs> you know, like I'd, I'd love to know how to get the results to, to print out. That'd be great. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't see it. Like I can see save preset. I want to save it. I just want to see. I, I've got zero votes over here. Maybe try. Someone try exclamation and a number. Uh, we'll, we'll go for four did win, we'll say, but can someone just press exclamation mark and one of the uh, one of the numbers just for us? Uh, well, with the poll. Oh, you restarted the poll. Um. Oh, there you are. You can enter by typing vote and then the ID number. So you have to you had to put uh. vote. There you go. So it looks like four is going to be the one. Uh, there we go. So there we go. So they're evil apples that her stepmother uh, her stepmother gave her. Uh, 
as a gift and it puts the engine to sleep. So unfortunately, Princess Posh, you will not be making this defense roll against the difficulty free thing as your car is going to lose all of its speed. Oh, go grease lightning. You're coasting through the heat lamp track. Or intellect. Which one? Which one's lower, speed or intellect? Uh, for me, speed. Yeah. So you lose all of your speed and uh, your car stops. Uh, so uh, that does reduce you to a difficulty zero to pass. Um, but Manny, uh, Aubrey, Aubrey, can you make a difficulty uh, a difficulty free uh, speed defense to try and stop them from speeding away from you? There you go. That's how it works. Hey. So Aubrey manages to keep the distance that you created the same. You don't end up speeding away. Um, now, uh, Princess Posh, I'm afraid you're automatically going to lose position to Aubrey as Aubrey uh, goes around you to chase Manny. Uh, so Aubrey, <laughs> would you like to close the distance? Would you like to rub salt in the wound for Princess Posh? <laughs> <laughs> Um, hmm. You can blow up a car. I I can blow up her car. That is the thing I can do. I can. I if that is can. right. I can attack. Mm -hmm. Um. I, I'm a good sport. I think I'm just gonna try to close distance. <laughs> oh, after everyone's been attacking your car as well. <laughs> I have never attacked uh, Aubrey. That was exclusively the princess. All right, so speed. So, um, Manny, you're trained in speed, right? Manny? Oh, yes, I am trained in speed. Sorry. So if you're trained in speed, I'm afraid that means... Uh, that becomes difficulty zero. Just roll as a speed defense to make sure you don't nat one it. <laughs> All right. Um, difficulty zero, effort zero, 20. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. The, I I don't know what major effect to give you right now as you're slingshotting around the planet. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll give you an extra plus one when you come around the planet. That's all. Uh, because this is a defense, I think it would be mean to give you too much, uh, too much power after that. So Aubrey cannot close the distance. So there is now two distances between you and Manny, Aubrey, as they are getting further and further in the lead. So uh, Princess Posh is still just behind me, correct? Uh, yes, Princess Posh. Unfortunately, uh, your car is stalling. And it is your oh, turn. Oh no! Oh, it's oh my no! Turn. Wait, no! Wait, sorry. Aubrey, I didn't give you a turn. Aubrey, it's your go. No, wait, yes, you did, because you you were speeding ahead. Yeah, 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 you were trying to you were trying to catch up. Yes. No extra distance. There's still one league of distance. I've capitulated myself completely. There's still one league of distance between you. Aubrey, you couldn't catch up any faster, but you didn't lose any either. Now, Princess Posh, it's your turn. Um can I What do I want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. Oh, I want to recover. That's what I want to do. How do I do that? Uh, well, uh, you use the recovery die. Ooh. I'm trying to think where it is on this sheet. Yeah. Oh, there. You got it? Oh, I hit recovery just now, and something popped up here. You can recover seven points to put in pools as you please. Ooh, okay. I know where that is going. Right into my might. Okay. Uh, if you've got two pulls at zero, you might want to put at least one point in another one to stop yourself from being impaired. I only have one pull at zero. Didn't you lose all your speed? Do, oh, did you take away all my speed? Is that what happened? I lost it all. Yes. Hashtag scrat oh. as a monster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll put, I'll put a couple in speed too. <laughs> monster! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, you get going but as you do get going uh, Femme Fatale Fiona despite you all being in the vastness of space you are also in a slingshot pattern around an, uh, a moon uh, so uh, Femme Fatale Fiona does collide with the back of you uh, bumper carring you uh, forwards 
Uh, please make me a might defense of difficulty three. Might defense of difficulty three. Uh, well, you are nine meets me three. You are able to take the brunt of this collision. You get going just as they collide, and uh, they take more damage than you out of this exchange. They uh, they they take a couple of points of might damage, whereas you are fine. Um, after them, uh, we have do, 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 do. the chugger bug did bad. Gareth did bad. So after them, we have uh, the chugger bug trying to overtake Fiona, and they do. They somehow nip around Fiona and get between the two of you. Uh, we also then have uh, we have Redunda trying to overtake uh, Fiona. They do not. And finally, we have Gareth at the back. Gareth's going to do something a little special. Gareth uh, starts looking at the moon, and. Um, they, they, all of the magnets are pointing towards the moon for a second. They're doing something suspicious. That's no moon. <laughs> That's no I'm sorry, was that a, too much of a reference? I don't know, I think we're okay. <laughs> 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 so, uh, with that being the, uh, the order... Let's go on to the next round, shall we? All right, I'm gonna do what I what I do best, and I'm gonna burn up that quarter mile. Burn up the quarter mile, beautiful. And uh, you said a plus one as well to because uh, earlier. Yep. So does your does this count as a twenty? Then. Uh. So. Uh... Not quite. You will get a minor effect, but with your training, that makes it difficulty seven. With the extra plus one, uh, that makes it a difficulty eight to keep up. Okay. This is and, impossible uh, on a regular die roll. Uh, my minor effect description is uh, a target is dazed by electricity for one round, during which time the difficulty of all tasks it performs is modified by one step to its detriment. Uh, electricity can also shut down an android robot or other automation for one round. Okay, so in that case, I think if, uh, Aubrey, if you fail the speed run, you may be stunned by electricity. It is difficulty 8, you can put effort in it to reduce the difficulty down, because at the moment, uh, to beat an 8, you would have to roll a 24 on a d20, um, which is, of course, uh, well, highly improbable. <laughs> you still have your point too, though, right? I do. You'd still need two levels of effort, even with your critical oh. coin flip. Ah, oh, okay. Um, according to my sheet, I only have the one effort, or is that something that I can spend? Yeah, we, we don't worry about that. Okay, That's cool. a rule right. for campaigns. Oh. This is a one-shot. Go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, uh, all right. Uh, speed? Speed, yep. Difficulty you, eight. You can um, use your critical coin flip if you want to. I'm just saying you'll still have to use two points of effort, so it will cost you. Uh, do you have an edge in speed? I do not. It would cost you five points from your speed pool, and a nat <laughs> twenty on your critical coin flip, and you'd succeed. Mm. <laughs> the odds there are a little. Hmm. <laughs> well, the odds 50, here. 50. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to go ahead and spend two efforts to. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. So uh, on uh, difficulty two, that makes it. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you would have needed an 18 or higher, and you're just not quite there. Uh, mm -hmm. So um, you get stunned by electricity for one round, um, and. Uh, there is now two leagues, two distances between you and Manny. Uh, this does why mean. This... Go on. Uh, I was just gonna say why this guy is automatic. It's systematic. It's hydromatic. Why it's greased lightning. 
<laughs> and uh, Manny, you are just getting to the end of the planet's surface. You're getting to the slingshot period now. You can see the uh, you can see the asteroid field ahead. Um, mm -hmm. Aubrey, unfortunately, you Looks will like spend this turn ahead. stunned. Uh, so mm. we'll uh, go on to the uh, next racer, uh, who is uh, Princess Princess Posh. I nearly said uh, Princess Certain Piece of Fruit. <laughs> um, <laughs> do I have to be within a certain range of Manny to be able to cast a spell on his card? It depends on the spell. I want to um, cast a spell that turns his vehicle into like a raggedy old vehicle. So essentially from a princess gown, gown to rags, but it's car. Uh, do you have a description for the spell? Uh, like uh, an ability kind of thing? Yeah. I just have Arcane Flare, and it says you enhance the damage of another attack spell. Okay. That work? Um, do you have an, any other spells? Anything at all? It says uh, spell casting abilities. Um, not really, no. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, anything is possible in Cypher, it just gets harder. Uh, okay. So uh, we'll say yes, you can do this at long distance because of your arcane flare. Um, because you don't have a spell, we'll make it difficulty 6, highly improbable. Uh, but because of your arcane flare, we'll reduce that to difficulty 5. Okay. I'm going to dump some effort into this, and I'm going to do 3 effort. Okay. So, uh, with free effort, please uh, <laughs> reduce your your uh, your intellect pool by that amount. Uh, so, your roll does beat difficulty two. So, this spell is going to happen, Manny. Uh, you can feel something going on with your car as uh, as uh, Princess Posh is uh, altering the way it looks. Mm -hmm. Uh, is there a way I can defend against this? Yes, indeed. I think it will be intellect defense. Uh, since Princess Posh beat difficulty 5, I think it's only fair that you do the same. Okay. Uh, I will do that. And... Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and um, put some effort in that as well. Uh, how, mu how much would uh how much does effort cost again it's three for the first one and two for every single one after that yes and edge reduces the cost by one in edge yeah uh edge reduces cost by one so let me see here uh, i'll put in two effort and uh looks like uh I got it? Yeah, it looks like you would have got it without mm -hmm. the effort, but we'll happily take the effort as well. That'll cost you five points. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you successfully managed to shrug off the effects of this spell. Uh, I'm going to say um, it's sort of happening and not happening. So, uh, Princess Posh, you did do the spell successfully, so the card does look like it's changing, but Manny, you're managing to hold on to it and, uh, and uh. keep it. So I'm gonna imagine that I uh, slap the uh, slap the car, kind of like I, or you know, just kind of like hit it like I hit the jukebox, and as it starts to change, it immediately changes back to its original um, form. Yeah. Okay. If, if, if you've seen Happy Days, uh, you know the the Fonz classic, uh, hit the jukebox. Hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so after the princess, we have Fiona. Fiona is going to try and overtake you, uh, princess. Please make a difficulty free speed defense roll. Okie dokie. Um. Nailed it. They cannot pass you. Um, Nailed it. After them, we have the chuggerbug trying to move up. Uh, the chuggerbug... Uh, is n it is able to the chugger bug overtakes Fiona. Uh, after the chugger bug, we have uh, Redunda trying to overtake Fiona. They also manage it. 
Uh, and uh, lastly, we have uh, Gareth Ball right at the back, uh, who is uh, trying to overtake Fiona, and they do not manage it. Uh, so Fiona loses two places, uh, and uh, we have some more interesting competition behind us. Um, we go back to the top of the round. Manny, uh, just creating an impressive lead at this point. Uh, how many spaces of distance are between me and second place? Oh, you've reminded me. Uh, there are currently two spaces. But last uh, last round, uh, Gareth started doing something to the moon. Uh, and uh, mm -hmm. all of you, the moon will suddenly explode. Uh, difficulty four speed defense roll to avoid taking damage or uh, medium weapon attack four damage. Okay. Um, let's see here. Speed, and you, you said uh, difficulty what? Difficulty four for everyone around the moon, which is everyone. Okay. This one it, and I'll put in one effort just save oh god natural 20 natural 20 over there so you're absolutely fine um unfortunately julie that does mean that aubrey will take four points of might damage as pieces of asteroid pepper her pepper her vehicle uh how All about right. princess posh oh sorry i didn't realize i was rolling for this one. Oh yeah everyone around the moon the moon explodes Everybody around the moon. oh yeah okay Speed and four, you said. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, so the two of you getting nat 20s on your defense, uh, you are going to have... Um uh, we're going to have uh, a major effect where um, you are not... Um... Can I hit part of this planet back at the person with, uh, with my bat? Oh, uh... I mean, yeah, you can. I mean, they're, they're going to get hit as well because they're also around the planet. Um, mm -hmm. And the only person who's not going to get hit actually is Redunda because of their difficulty levels. Um, mm -hmm. I'm thinking as we're about to go into an asteroid field, you guys can have some sort of advantage against asteroids. You're not phased by them. Okay. Making uh, navigating asteroids one step easier. Cool. Mm -hmm. Now, Manny, sorry, what were you going to do as you enter the asteroid field? Okay, uh, I'm, as pieces of, of moon are flying around me, I'm just going to be uh, singing uh, Return to Cinder, uh, Address Unknown, No Such Number, No Such Zone, as I swing my bat and uh, return to Cinder this moon at Gareth, who just uh, exploded this moon. Yeah, sure thing. All right. So that's going to be a uh, might attack. Uh, yeah, might or speed. Uh, I think he's going to dodge it. <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately, that does not beat Gareth's uh, difficulty level, uh, especially in space. Um, so um, Gareth uh, will dodge that, uh, although he is taking damage from the planet as the planet exploded anyway. Um, like I said, the only person who isn't is Redunda. Uh, and in fact, Redunda, uh, well, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, next, we have Aubrey uh, with Manny pulling away into this uh, asteroid field. Okay. Um, wow, I was stunned and nobody passed me. <laughs> um, okay, uh, I think I'm uh, gonna take a, take a turn to recover. If I can find where that is on my sheet, um, because my might is not looking so hot. <laughs> oh, is that the rest button? Is that the show? Uh, yeah, that button. It's on. It's a recover up there on the side, just like for speed or intellect. Mm -hmm. No, that is not what I wanted. Um, so it's 1d6 plus 1 is a rest roll. Um, Scrap. Right. If you just hit that, like in yeah, the yeah. third column, if you just hit recovery, it'll roll it for you. Another, oh, <laughs> I'm blind. It's right there. That's all right. 
I didn't see it until today, so... <laughs> seven points. You recover seven points. That's two critical recovery rolls we've had this session. Uh, yeah. As you recover seven points, which you can put in the in your pools as you please. I'm going to bring my mate back up to eleven, um, and mm. that is my turn. Fantastic. Uh, so next, then, is Princess Posh. I'm going to try to gain speed. Uh, well, Aubrey's right in front of you. You can try to overtake them. I want to try to overtake her. By all means. Do I have to do something, or do I just still roll speed? Roll speed, and then we'll see if we can if you can overtake. Yay! Uh, so, difficulty free speed defense roll, please, Aubrey. No dice. <laughs> yep. Uh, Princess Posh, uh, you get ahead of uh, Aubrey just going into this asteroid field, and you can see Manny uh, way ahead weaving between asteroids. There's a lot of distance between you, at least two lengths of distance. After this, uh, we have uh, the Chuggerbug is uh, trying to keep up. The Chuggerbug's going to try and overtake you, uh, um, Aubrey. Uh, can you please make a difficulty free uh, defense roll? Oh, yeah, you're fine. Uh -huh. Yeah. I uh, smile and wave at them. <laughs> so, <Strapping>. next, <laughs> Redunda tries to overtake uh, the Chuggerbug. And they do. Uh, the Redunda is now behind you, Aubrey. Uh, uh, the uh, Femme Fatale Fiona is going to try and uh, overtake the Chuggerbug as well. And she does. There's a lot of battling going on back here. A lot of battling. Uh, and uh, lastly, Gareth is taking a turn to recuperate as uh, they've used a lot of um, a lot of energy in that last turn, and their car is a bit pooped. I'm going to take a quick bio. Um, would we prefer a break, or would you guys like to talk, talk to the chat for a bit? I can hang out with chat. Yeah, we can talk to chat. Oh, we can talk to chat. By all means, I'll be right back. <laughs> Hi, Hi. <laughs> well, the animals are now running the circus. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with the cats away and the mice will play? <laughs> Something like that. So, have any sweet, sweet questions for us, chat? Or tell us the character you would play. Ooh, what would your, yeah. What would your oh, yeah. Tell us the right bit of delay on my end. I am going to refresh. How many cats? There's three of us. I actually own three cats as well. I'm a crazy cat lady. I own uh, zero cats because I am deathly allergic. Um, oh. I have been put in the hospital five times because of prolonged exposure to cats. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that's insane. Mm -hmm. yep. um, that's for you. No cats for me. I just cuddle other people's cats. I would have cats if I could, but I cannot at the moment. But... <laughs> my cats overtake my Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's good, good content. So, yeah. I need uh, more uh, princess queen tropes, too. <laughs> I really liked the apples dropping out of the bottom of your spaceship. That was very clever. <laughs> that was really cute. <laughs> I love how our roles are just reversed this this week. I know. <laughs> uh, that, like, uh, I, mean, I mean, honestly, I have no idea. Princess Peach? <laughs> That'd be a good one. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, Julie. No, you're good. Um, I'm having fun. I think it's becoming apparent that Aubrey probably hasn't flown in space at this point. Uh, <laughs> my roles in space have been going just that badly. <laughs> oh, that Beauty and the Beast role, yeah. yeah really. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, 
How you been? Oh. Is chat good to you? Were, were they were they kind and welcoming and all the other good things? They were we talked about cats. I was gonna say I'm <laughs> seeing a lot of cat talk. It's uh, interesting. <laughs> At the moment, I'm in the the house of Hildy and three dogs, and the mm. dogs aren't used to cats, and Hildy's not used to dogs. Uh oh. It's interesting. I can hang out with the doggos, but Hildy will literally kill me. <laughs> uh, yep. Uh, I imagine oh, yeah, because we already of... had this conversation. Oh, yeah. Okay. I imagine because of allergies, <laughs> but also, yeah, she just, you know, she, she can be aggressive, bless her. Um... <laughs> Well, uh, let's go on to the next round then, shall we? As we're making our way through the asteroid field. And some of these asteroid fields are a little bit shiny. Um, chat, there is an, a, a blow stuff up option here. Um, I won't tell you anymore. Uh, let's uh, go around in order. So, uh, Manny, as you are weaving through the asteroid field. Well, um, as I'm weaving through the asteroid field, I'm just going to try and go faster. Uh, and just burn up this quarter mile. All right, so. Okay, one so. To try and create distance. <laughs> difficulty one to create distance. Uh, Princess Posh, can you please be a difficulty one uh, speed check? Oh, and what did the asteroid effect have? You said something about uh, the major effect from dodging the moon. Yes, uh, so that would actually give you difficulty two, please, Princess Posh. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, okay, that's what that is. I rolled okay. a 20 as well. Oh, from the moon. You okay. did, yes. Uh, no, no, the, it counts for the asteroid as well, actually, so yeah, uh, it will still be difficulty one for you. Yes. Okay. Uh, so you can't gain any more distance on Princess Posh. Can't gain any more All distance. Right. Um, so after... Uh, after you, Manny, uh, we've got two spaces of distance, and then Princess Posh also entering the asteroid field. Princess Posh. Um, I want to... Is Manny close enough that I could shoot something at him? Two leagues of distance. If it's a long-distance shot, yes. Do you have like a sniper rifle or something like that, or some sort of special equipment? What are you thinking? Talk us through it. Uh, I know I've only practiced with light we weapons. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm, can I try to cast another spell? Sure, I am a spellcaster. Okay, I want to cast a bunch of frogs to maybe like whirl around his his mobile and slow him down. Fantastic. That's a difficulty with an intellect roll. Um, and I'm going to put some effort into that. Oh, wow, that's a lot of effort. Uh, so <laughs> you drop your intellect by six. Um, and wow, that is a difficulty eight spell there, Justin, uh, to try and avoid frogs swarming your vehicle. Okay, um, can I dodge them with a the speed defense, or maybe swat them away, uh, use it with my bat as a might defense? Uh, either of those is acceptable, I think. Those are acceptable to you, Kylie? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Sounds good. Alrighty, uh, so I'm gonna use... No, I'll do speed, uh, defense to try and, uh, whirl out of the way. Mm -hmm. Whirl. So that makes it... you're trained, right? So it's still technically impossible. Uh, yes, I am trained, and I will be put, uh, what difficulty do I need to set this at again? Uh, difficulty eight. Difficulty eight. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything I can use to reduce the difficulty as an asset, uh, and I don't think I have anything, uh, so I'm gonna just have to use a whole bunch of effort. And... Let's see here. Difficulty eight. I'm trained. We'll do we'll do three effort, and we'll see what happens. We'll give it a whirl. Oh gosh! <laughs> yeah! I used so much effort for nothing. 
this makes my evil queen heart happy. Yes, it does. <laughs> uh, I think on this intrusion, uh, we'll say that um, that uh, well, uh, Princess Posh has reduced one length of distance, definitely. Um, mm -hmm. I quite like the poll thing we did earlier. I think we should do the same thing with you, Manny. Uh, so, chat, we've got one round. What happens to Manny on this uh, on this GM intrusion? Uh, give me your ideas, and this time we know how to make the poll work, so we can do it. Uh, so, uh, Princess Posh closing the distance by attacking her, uh, her compondros. Uh, Aubrey. Yes. I would like to, uh, there's like a length of distance between me and Princess Posh right now, two lengths. Um, I've got it down that you only, you were only just overtaken. I was on, oh, I was only just overtaken. Okay. Well, um, I would like to fix that. <laughs> and, um, as I'm going into the asteroid field, I think I tried to go over her head. Mm -hmm. And drop down in front of her. So, speed. Ugh. Difficulty five. Oh, wait. Okay, so uh, Aubrey, uh, please make. Uh, not Aubrey. Uh, Princess Posh, please make a speed defense of difficulty five. Um, does this still count in the asteroid where I get one less defense or no? Yep. So you can you can call it difficulty four. Yay! Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, you nail it. You get a minor effect. Uh, I think it's just going to be a continuation of your previous previous minor effect. Uh, in the um, you the the um, the uh, as you are navigating uh, around, you can just sort of put asteroids between the two of you, and. Um, I think we'll just continue the previous the previous effect. There's been a lot of uh, major and minor effects this game. <laughs> has been. Um, I think what happens is um, there's an asteroid directly in front of me, but I'm going to drop down in front of her. So instead of dropping down, I have to drop around. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah. And that is my turn. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, I think we've got enough things there. Some of them are a bit similar, though. Um... Ah, we'll go over it anyway. The uh, poll's starting now. Uh, after you, uh, we have Redunda behind you trying to uh, to pass. Uh, please make a difficulty 5 speed defense, Aubrey, to stop uh, Redunda from overtaking you in the asteroid field. Not quite. <laughs> not quite. As Redunda overtakes you and uh, starts approaching you instead, Princess Posh. Do you need me to roll something? No, no, you're good. Okay. I'm just uh, retyping out my notes so that I can uh, it... read them. Keep track. Yeah. Uh, after Redunda, we have uh, Femme Fatale Fiona. Uh, she is going to try and overtake you as well, Aubrey. Please give me another difficulty free speed defense roll. I'm going to put an effort into this, if that is okay. <clears throat> it's your effort. You may do with it as you please. Hey! <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, minor effect. I think we'll give something bad to Fiona. Uh, in mm. the um, Fiona... Um, She's just going to take some damage. We'll just give her the free damage there, I think. She tries to overtake and ends up colliding with a uh, with an asteroid. Okay. Uh, then the Chocobugs are going to try and overtake Fiona. And they do. Uh, Fiona takes more damage as the, the uh, Chocobug overtakes. And in fact, uh, her car stops. Uh, she has to stop and make repairs. Um, this means that uh, Gareth Ball can also overtake her easily. Um, and Gareth is going to try and overtake uh, the Chugglebug. And he does. So now uh, the new running order is um, uh, Manny, one space of distance, uh, Princess Posh, Redunda, Aubrey, uh, followed by uh, the Chugglebug, 
then Gareth, and last place is Femme Fatale Fiona. Uh, so, I'm stopping the poll now. Uh, stray electrical parts catch some of the silvery asteroids and make a big boom. Not a big boom, because that'll be the blow stuff up donation. Uh, however, the uh, the silvery asteroids will. Uh, I think what they'll do is they're they're gonna they're gonna catch and uh, create a magnetic field, Manny, and you're just gonna be slowed down by these asteroids. So you're going to lose your uh, your asteroid ability to move through quickly. Uh, permanently or this round? I think permanently. You know, major effect giveth GM intrusion taketh away. Fair enough. So, um, what I will do is, since I've got one space of distance between me and uh, the pumpkin, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, still still driving. You know, my foot's on the steering wheel, other foot in the um, seat. Somehow the uh, gas pedal is still being pressed down i'm going to take my bat and take a grenade and i toss up the grenade and i swing uh sending a sonic grenade at the pumpkin and uh that that was taken from the uh, equipment section as a uh, uh the sci-fi equipment section from uh, the cypher book yeah oh, by all means okay uh, so um Inflicts two points of damage. Uh, let's, uh... Let's... I don't know how explosive weapon rules work. Well, uh, I imagine it'll be just like a ranged attack, so please make us a speed attack roll. Okay. Oof. Oof. Uh, it's not quite a GM intrusion. Uh, but I think your grenade's going to go a little wide as uh, you roll the two, which only beats difficulty zero. So Princess Posh will be able to evade it without... Uh, Princess Posh, give us a, 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 a speed defense roll just in case you not want it. Yeah, no. So unfortunately, the grenade goes wide. Maybe maybe you miss and it just drops or something. Um, it's up to you. How does, it, how does this look, Justin? Okay, so uh, as I... Um, you know, toss it and swing. Uh, I'm going to say a, one of these magnetic um, asteroids, you know, kind of causes it to veer off course a little bit. Mm -hmm. Totally. Fine. And uh, yeah, there's an uh, explosion off to the side. Uh, and uh, then there's that one space of distance, and then Princess Posh. Darling, it is nice of you to set up fireworks for your queen. And I'm going to try to catch speed. Oh. 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 Uh, so many, please make a speed defense roll beating difficulty one. Please I... don't make one. Oh, difficulty two, because Princess Posh still has her asteroid thing. Okay. Um, speed defense two. Um no effort um, my speed defense is trained so one beats one because uh, two is reduced to one by the training yes indeed yeah that makes total sense um, so unfortunately uh, it may be a surprise to you princess posh but that roll of a, of a five didn't didn't catch up <laughs> uh, next is redunda and redunda is looking at your car from behind princess posh how does your car look Um, I'm. It's kind of damaged from some of the damage I took. Hmm. Can you make me a difficulty five speed speed defense roll? Oh gosh! Difficulty five. As a, he's just gonna ram you. This will count as a heavy weapon oh. attack. Oh, oh no! <laughs> he takes six points of damage. Oh man, I am down to zero in my speed pool. <laughs> and your might pool? And one in my might pool. Ooh. Uh -oh. 
So uh, you are impaired now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's sort of behind you going, Redonda! <laughs> Ooh, you evil little monster. Uh, after Redunda, it is Aubrey. Aubrey, you will see this ahead as uh, Redunda <laughs> is uh, ramming Princess Posh. Oh. Oh, that's not very nice. <laughs> I'm going to give him a little taste of his own medicine. <laughs> and how, how um, does this look? <laughs> um, I think... And I think that's what it is. I, I think she thinks it's bad sportsmanship. So she's just going to be, all, all right, all right. Well, we'll see how you like it. And uh, we see her like dramatically shift gears in her machine and she just goes speeding forward to ram into the back of uh, Redonda's. It's like a cross shape, right? Yeah. A, a, like a cross shaped chariot. Chariot. <laughs> ram into the back of this cross shaped chariot. Excellent. Uh, that is. Uh, and attack. <laughs> attack roll, difficulty five. Okay. Mm-hmm. I have something called an attack flourish. Ooh. Um, adding stylish moves. <laughs> a plus one. Uh, did do? Choose any number of creatures within the short range who can see you. Each of them gains a plus one bonus to its next die roll. Um. Are you going to give flourish. Princess Posh a, print, a plus one to her next die roll? <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I thought that was for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I am going to do a thrust, however. A powerful melee stab. Uh, an additional point of damage if my weapon has a sharp edge or a point. We'll say that my... Uh, the spaceship comes to a point at the front. Yeah, definitely. Um, and it's a difficulty what? Difficulty five. Five. Effort to damage. Uh, effort to damage would be you spending points to put more damage on on a successful hit. Oh, I see. No! Yeah, no, so unfortunately, uh, difficulty three is just not quite good enough. And as uh, as you move in to attack them, they sort of uh, see you and uh, they will say they put up like a little blast shield or something and uh, you'll have to stop short before you hit them. Um, okay. Not this time. Uh, okay. Behind you, the Chuggabug is trying to overtake. Please make a difficulty three speed defense roll. Oh, yeah, you're hey. fine. You're fine. That starlight's still catching up and uh, making sure that they can't overtake you at all. Um, mm -hmm. Then, right at the back, we've got Gareth trying to overtake the Chuggabug as well. Uh, they cannot. And uh, lastly, um... oh, yeah, Fiona right at the back repairing her car. Uh, she regains six points, uh, which she distributes evenly between all of her stats. Uh, but um, she, she, yeah, she, mm, she's not sure if she's going to take off again or not yet. She's sort of looking at it and weighing it up. Uh, we come back around to the top. Uh, Manny, you are exiting the asteroid field and uh, heading back towards the desert planet. Alrighty, I'm just going to try and uh, go, go fast. Go, go grease lightning. Alright, let's, uh, let's see how I do here. Uh, you know... Difficulty four to create some create some space. Let's see how that goes. Difficulty four. Princess Posh, please have a, a, a speed defense roll. It would be five because I'm impaired, right? Uh, yes, but four because you've still got your asteroid thing. Oh yeah, that sounds like the Kool Aid Man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, with that nat 20, unfortunately, uh, they cannot uh, get away. Um, however, uh, you are leaving the asteroid field, so um, 
I'm not going to give you anything major on the uh, on the on the on a defense roll. You'll just get um, a slight continuation, so that the asteroid field gives you a plus one for the next round, even though you're not technically in the in the asteroid field anymore. Um, after after uh, Manny is Princess Posh uh, with that one space of distance between you and um, and Manny. I'm going to do a speed check. I'm going to try to catch up. Um, Difficulty free speed defense roll, please, Manny. Alrighty. So I'm going to... Difficulty three. And I'm going to put no effort in. There you go, beats difficulty four. Easy peasy. Sorry, Princess Posh, no speed gained this time. Uh, Redunda uh, is going to try and ram you again. Uh, please make another difficulty five uh, defense. Oh, boy. Beats difficulty five. This time they can't quite ram you, uh, and uh, you, they hold position. Uh, that makes it your turn again, Aubrey. Uh, I am going to try to zoom on ahead <clears throat> and overtake Redonda. Difficulty five speed check, please. Yes. Uh, and I'm going to put two points of effort into <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah so uh you snip around redunda uh and uh your major effect um i think we enter to like bullet time and i like wink and blow a kiss as i pass redunda by <laughs> yeah sure and would you um, like maybe some like resistance to ramming damage or something like that maybe or yeah um i think uh Maybe for this next stretch, like a, a plus one against people trying to ram me. That or... makes a lot of sense. That makes a ton of sense to me. So if Redunda tries the same dirty tactic on you, you've got that extra plus one. Yes. <clears throat> Fantastic. Uh, okay, Aubrey. Uh, so Aubrey moves up. Uh, the Chuggerbug tries to overtake Redunda. They cannot. Uh, Gareth is going to try and overtake the Chuggerbug. Uh... And uh, Fiona retires. <laughs> she nurses her car back and, and retires from the race. <laughs> but you meant like retire from racing, like we're in the middle of the track. <laughs> yeah, no, she just uh, does not finish. She decides that her vehicle hasn't got the, uh, especially because she's seen uh, she's seen some of the ramming that's going on at the front and the uh, the grenades and stuff, and she's like, I'm not about this life. <laughs> and uh, she, she gives up on it. Uh, so we come back round as uh, we're heading back towards the planet's surface with Manny. Alrighty. Um, so as as I land, um, <clears throat> who's directly behind me still? Is it still the Princess Posh? Uh, one space of distance than Princess Posh still. One space of distance? Okay. Um, so I'm going to try and... Uh, use my use another sonic grenade to kind of set a trap for when when she lands uh, it'll go off and explode instead of uh, chunking it as I uh, tear off down this uh, dusty road okay uh, yeah sure so um, let's set the trap uh, how difficult is this trap okay um Speed, or I'm assuming, or intellect. I think you're setting a trap. Let's try intellect because you're trying to hide it, you know. All right, let's see what happens. Oh boy, do I have a luck from the chat? It says it says it was given a luck by a viewer. Does that mean I've I can... I've not seen anything. Okay. Okay, so then I'm going to... Just make an intellect check back. 
Sure thing. Yeah. Uh, let's. Uh, so uh, as we get to as we'll get to your turn at the very start of your turn, let's okay. see if you can uh, avoid this uh, avoid this trap. <clears throat> okay. So I am. I have edge in it, but then I have zero in my speed. So is it still six? Um, it would be difficulty seven because you're impaired. Uh, okay. Your edge would make a defense ca task cost less. Uh, we can call it. Um, this can either be speed or intellect. Intellect to try and spot it. Speed to try and dodge it. Oh, boy. That is a failure. Uh, so, unfortunately, you will take damage from this grenade. Um, so, you'll take two points of damage. Can you please make me a might defense roll? Uh, just a zero. Um, good question. I just copy and pasted from the book. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, let's call it difficulty three. Okay. Four for you because you're impaired. Oh, let me re-roll it then. I just did it three. No, that's fine. That beats difficulty three, which does not beat a four. So unfortunately, you will be stunned for a turn. Okay. Uh, so uh, this will be the turn that you are stunned for is at the start of your turn. You hit this grenade. Okay. Um, so... Aubrey, uh, you see uh, Princess Posh as they hit the ground. Uh, they sort of, um, they just, they just, there's a, a sonic boom. And then they stop for a second as their car has stalled once again. And then there's a loud grumble from the ground. Sort of sounds a bit like an earthquake or something, but more sort of chirpy. Huh. That's, but that's probably weird. nothing. As, as I hear the grenade go off, I'm gonna shout, "You've been thunderstruck!" <laughs> I'm going to roll my eyes, <laughs> and that's my turn. No, um, uh, I, mm, I'm just gonna keep speeding out ahead. <laughs> Take advantage of, uh, so. Going to try to overtake Princess Posh, I guess. Yeah, they are um, currently are stalled, so. Are we back on the ground now? Or are you we are. Stalled? You are back on the sand. Okay, excellent. Um, I do call down to her, like, you okay? As I go speeding by. <laughs> <laughs> um, and with the speed. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, uh, Princess Posh, as you are stalled, you will not be able to defend, and Aubrey does speed past you. So, Aubrey, now back in second place. Ooh. Uh, Redunda is going to try and go around you as well, Posh. We'll say just as your engines are starting back up, so I'll let you make a speed defense roll. Difficulty five. Okie dokie. Nope. Yeah, so Redunda moves into third place. Uh, then we have the Chuggabug at the back. Uh, the Chuggabug is also going to try and overtake you, uh, Princess. Uh, so please, can you give me a difficulty free speed defense? Go. There you go. So that's that's Later we that's just fine. You you uh you can easily evade that. Uh, lastly, is uh, Gareth trying to overtake the uh, Chuggabug? Uh, which they do. Uh, so Gareth starts moving up. Back at the top of the round, Manny, it's your turn. Uh. Do I still have, like, one distance between whoever's behind me, or...? Uh, yeah, you still have one distance, yes, indeed. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to try and uh, increase that distance in as I, uh, you know, uh, 
go through these heat map trials. Uh, so we're gonna do some running. And let's see how it goes. So, uh, difficulty six. Difficulty six. Aubrey, please can you make a difficulty six speed defense roll to try and keep up with this very fast Manny? Okay. I Go grease lightning. 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 Go grease Actually, that does work. The effort reduces the difficulty 6 down to a 5, and you beat difficulty 5. Nice. <laughs> so you stop Manny from creating distance. Again, Manny denied. I'm sorry. <laughs> How's everyone's... Uh... Uh, might speed and intellect pools look in the, the current? I'm just curious. I'm at one might, uh, four intellect and zero speed. Um, uh, I, I have. I took a few hits early on, but then I stopped to heal myself out. I've got like 11, 10, and 10. Gotcha. I'm at 1265, might speed intellect. Okay. <laughs> Okay. And of course, when you spend effort, make sure you remember to drop down your uh, pools as well by the uh, the cost mm -hmm. amount. Oh, yes. So, after Manny, uh, we have still got a space of distance than Aubrey. So, Aubrey, it is your turn. Uh, I think counting for some effort I did before I dropped my speed pool down a few. Um, I am going to... Uh, try to close that remaining distance. <laughs> Thank you very much to Tater, uh, who is gifting free rerolls to Princess Posh because they seem to need it tonight, even with all those in that twenties. <laughs> <laughs> the timing of the rolls is the thing. <laughs> um. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got a speed roll, uh, beats difficulty three. Three, yes. Uh, so, uh, um, you were just trying to catch up, sorry? Uh, I was just trying to close the remaining distance, yes. Okay, so right. Manny, please give us a speed defense roll, difficulty three. Alrighty, let's see here. Submit, uh, no effort. Minor effect. Mm, minor effect, I think, uh... Uh, the target is dazed by electricity for one round. During that time, difficulty of all tasks it performs is modified by one step to its detriment. Electricity can also shut down on Android robot and other automations for one round. This is my descriptor. Hmm. How would you feel about something that disadvantages everyone, including yourself? Mm -hmm. You know what? If we're calling lightning down on every single car in this uh, race, I'm cool with it. A storm starts brewing around Manny as uh, clouds gather and lightning begins to strike. But I wouldn't worry about that. It's probably everything's fine. Uh, so, Aubrey, next can you please make me a difficulty 5 speed defense roll as Redunda tries to overtake you? Ah, that it new. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately not. Uh, Redunda just nips around you, and uh, Manny, you can now see the big cross-shaped uh, um, chariot chasing you, which was in last place and has spent the race slowly working their way up. Uh, next is um, next is uh, Princess Posh. Your car starts back up again. You're ready to go. I'm going to make a speed check. I'm gonna try to catch up, or how far away am I from Aubrey? Uh, Aubrey is still ahead. They've just been overtaken by uh, Redunda, so they're, they're within range to try and overtake if you want to. I want to try to overtake. Difficulty free speed defense, please, Aubrey. Okay. <laughs> Difficulty five. <laughs> You do have re-rolls and you can use them on other people's rolls. Oh yeah, I want her to re-roll. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I know it's cruel, but you know. Oh, you're good. 
What fun is this? Difficulty four. <laughs> I'll leave it. I'm just okay. I can feel you weighing the scales. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Next time it's gonna be higher. Okay, uh, so uh, you don't get to overtake Aubrey this time, uh, and uh, Gareth is going to try and overtake you. Please make a difficulty four speed defense task. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, Nailed it. <laughs> and the chugger bug, uh, the chugger bug isn't getting on very well at the back there. Can everyone please make me speed defense tasks as lightning begins to shower from the sky? Uh, difficulty what? Uh, four. Is that ah! for me since I have a zero in my speed? Uh, yes, it just means uh, the damage will be more damaging. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Can I re-roll? Yes, you want to re-roll. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. That's still not a difficulty for. Oh no! Uh, do I? I don't have any more, do I? You have one more re-roll if you'd like to use okay. it. Okay. Yeah, I do. I have like no points. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, there we go. Nailed it. See, you were fine the whole time. <laughs> uh, Aubrey, how about how about your speed defense? Uh, it was a failure. My roll was two. <laughs> oh, oh boy! And unfortunately, no re rolls for you. Uh, yeah. So, um, anyone who does not manage to avoid the lightning will take six points of damage. Uh, and uh, you might see the chugger bug at the back sort of flip and spin and uh, crash out on the uh, on the desert sand. Mm. Six, you are might pull. Correct? Yes, always might pull first, then speed, then intellect, unless otherwise oh, right. specified. Um, How does the uh, the alien in second place do? Oh, Redunda. Um, good point. Uh, they take some damage, but they're okay. Their chariot okay. looks built to take a lot of damage, more so than speed, which is funny for someone who wins a lot of races. But there you go. I would like to offer all of you a GM intrusion. Offer? You don't have yes. to say yes. Nope. I can just complicate things. Nope. Yes. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> nope. Last time I said yes, my dragon died, so no. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, in that case... Um, in that case, uh, there will be some loud noises, but nothing will happen yet. As uh, there sounds to be some things under the ground, moving around, maybe. Oh! I have a guess or two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so, no, no intrusion this round, no XP given out. Uh, let's see. Oh, is it an all or none situation this time around? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, so, let's see. If we go round again, we go back to Manny. Manny, you are in the lead. And uh, as it happens, uh, you can see this large stretch of desert where nothing happens is totally mm -hmm. safe. Looks, looks safe. Um, <laughs> uh, do... So how many leagues of distance do I have? Uh, just the one still. It's Redunda behind you now. Ah, oh, man, this is... They, they do not give up. All right, so I'm just going to try and... Uh, no, are, am I considered in short range of him? Uh, I'd say medium range. Medium range? Okay, then I'll just try and create more distance. Uh, do I need to set a difficulty for that, or...? Difficulty five for Redunda. Difficulty five already. Um, and I'm not going to put any effort into it this time around. I didn't need to. Okay, you gain <clears throat> one distance. 
Uh, Redunda looks uh, very uh, annoyed as they say something that sounds like voodoo uh, and uh, strike their uh, steering wheel. Um, hey, you keep talking like that and you're cruising for a bruising. <laughs> Uh, now you are at long range, uh, you actually see them go into the back of their car and pull out a sniper rifle. Uh, what was my minor effect, by the way? Oh, minor effect? Um... Maybe his sniper rifle explodes? <laughs> <laughs> sniper rifle wasn't in play at the time. We'll say uh, that the lightning avoids you for this round. Is that fair? Okay. okay. Uh, they're going to put out a sniper rifle, though, and they're going to try and shoot at you. Uh, please make okay. a speed defense task. Alrighty. Difficulty uh, five. Alright. Um, five. And... Well, let's put in one effort. 19 again. Two 19s Ooh. in a row. Yeah, the, the shot goes <laughs> wide and just strikes the sand. And uh, they just toss the sniper rifle out of the cart like, like it's a useless thing. Um... Uh, can some lightning hit the lightning bolt that's pulling my car to uh, help me speed ahead even further? Sure, we'll give you a plus one for next round. Hmm. Uh, after Redunda, <laughs> we have Aubrey. Yes. Uh, am I in range to overtake Redunda? Or try to overtake Redunda? Uh, you are within range. You can try to overtake it. It'll be a difficulty five speed roll. I will attempt that. Unfortunately, no. Not this time around. Okay. You do still have your critical coin flip, by the way. Don't forget that before the end. I do. I keep forgetting it. I'm going to actually write that down. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well. <clears throat> Princess Posh, then it'll be your turn. Uh, I'm just going to do a speed roll again to try to catch up. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, so, uh, this would be to overtake Aubrey? Yes. Uh, Aubrey, please make a speed defense task, difficulty 5. Unfortunately, uh, Princess Posh just nips ahead of you. My notes are getting frantic again. Let's start a new one. <laughs> Oh, we've lost two races this game. Those poor people. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> lastly, Aubrey, uh, Gareth Ball is going to try and uh, uh, overtake you. Uh, please, can you uh, make a difficulty four speed defense? Uh, yeah, no, it is Aubrey, yes. Uh, difficulty four. <clears throat> uh, sure, okay. Whoops, hang on. Oh, Aubrey, on a GM intrusion, uh, a large worm uh, bursts out from the ground underneath you uh, and is going to does. grab hold of your car and start trying to pull you under the sand. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, I'm just going to like open thrusters and like blast plasma fire down his throat. I guess. Of course. <laughs> uh, we'll get to that shortly. Before we do, please take another uh, two points of damage. Mm. Uh, and uh, then, can everyone please make me a speed defense task? Including me? Uh, excluding Manny, but yes, including Aubrey. Uh, but Aubrey, it will be uh, difficulty five instead of difficulty four. Oof. Oof. I think the pumpkin explodes. <laughs> it may well do. Um, <laughs> have we got... Uh, is that difficulty five on yours there, Aubrey? Yes. Fantastic. So you managed to avoid the lightning, even being in a worm's mouth. Um, <laughs> but Princess Posh does not. Princess, please take six points of lightning damage. 
I'm down to zero on everything. Unfortunately, your car explodes and you go back to the back of the pack. Oh. You're a rich girl and you've gone too far because you know it don't matter anyway. <laughs> old man money. You can rely on the old man money. <laughs> uh, and that does bring us uh, to uh, the... Back to the top, but not just back to the top. This is, in fact, you can see the finish line. All right, uh, so, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I do best, and I'm just gonna take off down the, down that uh, quarter mile. Uh, you know, go go grease lightning. Let's see how I do to create that distance. Um. That's okay, I got two leagues. Two leagues, no worries. Uh, and did, who, who overtook Rotunda? Did someone overtake Rotunda last round? Uh, no, nobody did. No, no, overtook. I thought Aubrey overtook Rotunda and then got ate by a worm. Oh, yeah. I, I... No, I couldn't. I didn't succeed overtaking Rotunda, and then I overtook oh. Aubrey, but then Aubrey got ate by Warren. So Rotunda's yeah. still in second. Got it. Okay. Uh, so uh, unfortunately, that will not be enough to speed away from Rotunda. Uh, Rotunda is uh, going to uh, try and close the distance at least, trying to save their pride. Please make a difficulty five speed check, speed defense check. All right. Uh, defeat. Oh, I need to be using my speed defense. Uh, defeat five, and then we'll, we'll we'll put an effort into it. Not quite. They close the distance a little bit. There's now only one league of distance between you. Uh, after Redunda, it is not. Uh, it is not. Poor princess. Um. Worm food. One reroll from Manny. Thank you very much, chat. Oh, yeah. Uh, so after after uh, Redunda, it is Aubrey. Mm-hmm. I'm currently being eaten by a worm. What are my options? Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, you can. You said you're going to open your thrusters, right, and blast it. Yeah, that's what I was going to try to do. I can see that. Uh, difficulty four. Any test you like. Difficulty four. Uh, could you say this might be might? Yeah, by all means. The might sure. of your vehicle. The might of my vehicle. Uh, I'll go ahead and put an effort in there. With the effort, you burst free. The worm recoils as you speed along again. Uh, still Excellent. somehow quite close to Rotunda. Um, <laughs> All right, is that all I can manage this turn, getting away from the worm? Uh, or... I think so this round, yes. This round. Okay. Um, and uh, after Aubrey, we go on to uh, Gareth Ball, who's going to try and overtake you. Please give us a difficulty four, uh, difficulty four um, speed defense check. Oh, I just realized I was supposed to have a plus one to that from the lightning hitting my uh, my lightning bolt. Ow. Uh, that's not a new roll, no. Uh, so, Aubrey, please give us a difficulty four speed defense roll as Gareth Ball tries to overtake you. Uh, Gareth just nips past you. I was doing so well. Princess. It's gonna take at least a, it's gonna take a round to repair your car. At least. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's alright. Do I do anything or do I just Uh you can give us a recovery roll, it's gonna take uh, ten minutes. Seven. Yeah. 
Uh, that's the third crit recovery roll we've had in a row, and I've checked them. They are actually rolling as well. Um, so, uh, it's not like it's broken, is what I'm saying. I'm not saying you're not actually rolling. Um, <laughs> so, you can regain seven points to put in uh, the, your pools as you wish. Okay. However, there is going to be distance between you and Aubrey when uh, you start up. Okie dokie. Uh, Manny, the finish line's in line. In sight. This is probably the last round, I think, everyone, before we hit the finish line. So, uh, overtaking this round is very much advised. Alrighty. Um, so, behind... Uh, I can never remember this guy's name. Rodanda? Rotunda, okay, so Rotunda the Rotund. Um, how many leagues of distance between him and uh, third place? None. None? Okay, so if I slow him down, it doesn't matter. Um, all right, so I'm just going to try and create some space then. And that was difficulty five speed defense, please. Uh, all right. Let's see here. No effort. Um, mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold up, hold off on the reroll, and for when he tries to overtake me, I guess. Okay, uh, so he's gonna try and close the distance between you. Uh, I don't okay. think he, he can um, actually uh, overtake you this round. Uh, so that'd be a difficulty five speed de speed to defense. Alrighty. Zero. Um, all right. Well, you are I... totally fine. Yep. Uh, so you maintain your lead. Uh, next, uh, Gareth is going to try and overtake Rotunda. A worm bursts out of the ground and swallows Gareth whole. Um, <laughs> Gareth is out of the race. Rip. Uh, we've lost so many races this race. One of you is getting pole position. It looks like it's a fight between uh, Princess Posh and Aubrey. But Aubrey, you are now in third place, and there is distance between you and last place, so uh, it's looking good. Okay. Uh, is it? Am I up? You are up. Oh, excellent. Um, I would like to. Uh, is there anyone immediately in front of me to overtake, or is it just me closing distance? You can try and overtake Redonda. Okay. I would like to try and overtake Redunda. Um, would you like to roll, or would you like to use your critical coin flip? Sure. <laughs> I mean, now or never, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Oh. <laughs> Two. Uh, and can I add effort to this as well? Uh, you can, but I'll tell you for free, uh, if you get a, a six, you will overtake Rotunda, so you don't need mm -hmm. to, essentially. Okay. Hey! You overtake Rotunda. You are in second place. Uh, Rotunda is... Uh, dis how does this look? How do, how, how, how do you manage it? How do you come from being eaten by a worm to, to blasting <laughs> past Rotunda? So, I think when I opened my thrusters and, like, essentially, like, set the worm on fire from the inside, uh, <laughs> I guess. Um, I kind of arced up in the air, and when I arced back down, I kind of slammed into the ground next to Redonda. Mm -hmm. I took a second to get my bearings and then just sped up in front of them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> waved as I passed, of course. Uh, and uh, <laughs> last but most certainly not least... Uh, Princess Posh, right at the back there. You can see Redunda looking disgusted, but there is a, a league of distance between you and him. I guess I'll just try to catch up. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> Redunda passes the finish line. You see it happen way ahead. And Ugh. that is the end of the race with Manny in first, Aubrey in second, uh, with a distinct time difference. Uh, followed by Redunda, and then last place nursing over the line is Princess Posh. Boo. Off with their heads. <laughs> Here we are at the end of the race. Uh, on the podium stands Manny, uh, Aubrey, and Redunda. 
Princess Posh, are you standing nearby the, uh, the, uh, I forgot what it's called, podium? Podium? Podium, that's the word. I was close. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm over yelling at my little butler, uh. um, just telling him to fix things, taking my anger out on him. Oh, yes, my lady. Sure, my lady. I'll <laughs> fix everything, my lady. I didn't know I could do a droopy voice, but there you go. It'll better be better next time. No more of this losing. I'll get right on it, my lady. Uh, um, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Uh, I think uh, once the... I, Aubrey would make a point of going around and, and shaking hands with all of the racers that survived. <laughs> you know, just all winning smiles and good game. And we'll do better next time. <laughs> uh, well, let, let's play through some of these. Uh, so, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. when you come to Rotunda, uh, Rotunda does nod. <laughs> Uh, uh, and uh, a clammy hand comes forward to touch yours. It's sort of slimy, and uh, it leaves a residue on your hand afterwards, but they shake your hand, and there's this mucusy residue left. <laughs> Very discreetly wipe my hand on my pants as I walk away. <laughs> um, and then, uh, Manny, I don't think we shake hands. I think I just... Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and uh princess um just hand straight out smiling i don't touch hands uh Who you can touch my butler's hand hey. okay well raced <laughs> well raced Thank you. I'm sorry about your friends. <laughs> <laughs> How does he give the job? <laughs> Which reminds me, you need to find another butler for me, butler. Yes, my lady, I'll get on uh, fish for jobs right now. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, uh... <laughs> Anything um, else you'd like to go so, after the race? Anyone? Manny? <laughs> um, I'm assuming after we have our podium, uh, we're clearly in, you know, a, a classic 50s soda shop, and uh, Manny's going to walk in, pop his collar, go to the jukebox, slam it, and, uh, you know, some sweet, sweet tunes start playing. And uh, he orders himself a uh, cola. Hey, uh, can I get a cola for for me and the ladies? <laughs> I'll uh, take him up on that offer. <laughs> oh yeah. Buffalo, go get my cola for me. <laughs> hey, yes, my lady, I'll get us a a cola. So, uh, Princess, you, uh, reconsider my offer? Uh... Absolutely not, but you be can become one of my racing knights, if you would like. Uh, you know, as far as I as you were, I, uh, I, th I think I'm gonna do what I do best. Suit yourself. Uh, good luck, uh, not having your pumpkin smashed next time. <laughs> Is, uh, you know, grease lightning is uh, supreme. Makes everybody scream. Go grease lightning. <laughs> and when do we get the 80s freeze frame with the credits rolling? <laughs> Someone somewhere's got to be E. <laughs> e. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Princess Posh, is there anything that you would like to do before the end of the session? Nope, I'm going to continue just hanging out with my butler. More wine, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Well, that is the end of the session, everyone. Thank you so much for coming on this race with me. Um, I, I Thank you for indulging me in my madness. I think it's definitely <laughs> madness at this point. Uh, <laughs> let's go around and say hello to everyone. Uh, tell us who you are, where we can find you online, all the wonderful things that, we, that you do, because we want to hear all about them. Uh, Justin, I promise I'll update the uh, Mage Hand press command at some point, but until then, oh, hi. Oh, hi. So I'm Justin. I'm the community manager for Mage Hand Press. Um, you can find me on Twitter at, at Mage Hand Press and hanging out in Twitch chat at, um, on Twitter of Vecna. If you're interested in many of the cool, cool supplements we do, like Dark Matter, um, which Scrat's done two uh, wonderful seasons of, and uh, Weird West, which he's doing this season, you can hop over to store.magehandpress.com and Scrat, if you're cool, I can share that discount code uh, live right now. Yeah, do it. Yeah, so if you type in welcome to the academy, uh, spaces and everything, um, you get 15% off everything in the store. Uh, this is a discount that is going to last forever, and you can use it whenever you want and however many times you want. So remember, welcome to the academy. Support uh, support us and, uh, you know, show, show Scrat some love by uh, using his code. And I will update the command to include that very soon, I promise. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> thank you so much, Justin. Uh, next around, we have Julie. Julie, how was that for you? First time Cypher, first time racing? First time Cypher, first time racing. Um, second time on the channel, I think. Um, it, yeah, this I think has so. been delightful. This was so much fun. Thank you guys so much. Um, and Cypher System, well, Scrap Cypher System is pretty cool. <laughs> 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 I, I um, break I'm, every system I've ever touched. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I am Julie. I am at SoftSignal on Twitter and on Twitch. I don't stream much myself, but you can catch me on other places sometimes. Uh, this Thursday, I'm at Off the Table playing a hack of Polaris. Mm -hmm. And this Friday, you can find me on Little Cup of Joe's channel. Uh, she is in the Monday game, I believe, uh, playing um, Monster of the Week. Or, well, Mon ostensibly monster of the week <laughs> uh where i play a spooky little girl named Aiko. so um just see you guys around thank you so much for having me this is so much fun <laughs> thank you for coming along you were so much fun it's nice to have someone it, uh, as he says looking at his regular players uh, it's nice <laughs> to have someone who is sportsmanship minded and looks for fair play <laughs> Who are you talking about? I don't know. I'm on that I, bombshell, why don't we go around to Kylie? <laughs> I tried fair play for two, two uh, one and a half episodes. Just want to say that. Just, yeah, it's true. I tried it. It's true. I have not tried it, and I most likely will not try it. <laughs> Cutthroat. Um, I am Kai, and you can find me at stonefly underscore Kai on both Twitch and Twitter. And I stream in several places, and you can see I do updates on my Twitter for that. So that's about it for me. Thank you so, so much. Uh, as for me, everyone, uh, let's get the bot spamming some links at you. Um, please do follow the links. Uh, the Streamlabs merch uh, is, is still reasonably new. You can get mugs and things over there now. Um, I did look, someone asked about hats. Uh, the, uh, the websites I currently use don't do hats, uh, but I am looking into it. Um, essentially, I think that's just going to be a, a wait and see thing. Maybe we'll get something that comes comes along. Um, other than that, uh, please check out all of our social links, places you can go to support, support us. Big thank you to our sponsors, Bird in the Storm Publishing and Mage Hem Press. Uh, and also uh, websites you can get discounts on, all that good stuff. Today we're going to go and raid Katie Quixotic, she's a lot of fun. Uh, I believe our raid cry is I am currently being eaten by a worm, what are my options? Um, <laughs> which is uh, which is a fantastic quote, thank you for that gift, Julie. Uh, also, uh, my GoFundMe is still up, if we get a live progress on the GoFundMe for some aircon, we are do -do 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 -do, 60 pounds from being funded. Uh, thank you all so, so much for your support, it really means a lot. Um, until next time, everyone, keep on evoking emotions. We'll be back tomorrow now at uh, 2 p.m. EST with the Wednesday game. Will you? Is that Star Wars? No, that's 7 p.m. Oh. I literally just wrote the thing about, hey, uh, I just wrote the, the tweet about it going live. In fact, I could literally look at Hootsuite and figure out what it is. Uh, it is...
Hidden Scars, Warhammer, uh, how I start my Wednesday. It's a lot of fun. We hunt heretics, I shoot everything, and I'm really obvious. Last week I chainsawed someone in half. Uh, <laughs> it, it was, it was, it's, it's very gory, but a lot of fun. Uh, until then, everyone, keep on evoking emotions, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye! <laughs>